way! Make way! We must see the king! It's a matter of life and death! Make you wanna laugh? No? Oh, what a grump. I'll put a smile on your face if it kills me. La 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 <laughs> Isn't that a scream? No? Well, here's a joke that always leaves them rolling in the aisles. It seems there were two men leading their goats to a... It's urgent. We must see the king. What's so funny? What's so funny? Wipe that laugh off your face. How big is this ogre, Perot? This is his footprint, sire. His roar is mightier than a dragon's. No. And worst of all, my king, the ogre is headed this way. <laughs> yeah! oh, oh, save me! Don't let him get me. I'm too young to be an ogre's dinner. Begging Messiah's pardon, but he's not that close. Do you mind? I'm practicing my hysterics. Hello. Did I hear someone say ogre? Allow me to offer my services. <laughs> it will take more than a mere boy to vanquish so great an ogre. I'm not a boy. I'm a squire. Enough! Oof. Someone must be sent to dispatch this menace immediately. Sir Broadback, select two of your boldest knights and prepare. Sire, it would take at least a hundred knights to defeat him. <gasps> That's our entire army. The castle would be undefended. But we can't allow an ogre to menace the countryside. Oh, well, all right. But I just hope there's no emergency while you're gone. Good luck, Sir Broadback! And hurry home! Is working. Yes. <laughs> Raise the drawbridge. I wouldn't worry too much, my lord. With the drawbridge up, no one can enter, not even an ogre. But what if we're attacked or put on a siege? <laughs> With me at your side, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Keep working on your needlepoint, Sabina. I will fetch some tea. Yes, Dame Barbara. Good show, Sabina. Does Dame Barbara know you're practicing your archery, not your needlepoint? Oh, Johan, I want to be good enough to enter the spring joust. Will you show me how to split the arrow? Well, all right. A little to the left, down. Zabina! D! Oh, you haven't made much progress while I was gone. Uh, uh, no, Dame Barbara. Hey, have you seen Johan? I most certainly have not. I've got to find him. There's a sniper loose in the castle. <laughs> this is so unlike Broadback. Six days now without a word. It's no use, Johan. I'll never sleep until my army comes home. But you haven't even heard my lullaby. When you cannot get to sleep, when your thoughts are sad and deep, when you're tired of counting sheep, my song will set you free. If life's joys you cannot reap, if you strive yet only creep, if your mind is in a heap, my song will set you free. Oh, Kiwi, you 
wake everybody in the castle. My word. No, my voice. I told you it was soothing. He's sleeping like a baby. something, Johan. I can't take another night of this. Nor I. The solution is simple. We must find out why we've had no word from Sir Broadback and the King's army. I still don't see why we couldn't have breakfast first. But you just had breakfast, Kiwi. You call two steaks, a half a dozen eggs, three loaves of bread, and a kettle of mashed potatoes breakfast? I was just getting warmed up. There will be plenty of time to eat after we visited Enchanter Homnibus. Hello. Hail, good fellows. What business brings you to my lord's castle? Begging your pardon, sir, we are but a humble traveling theater troupe come to entertain at the spring joust. Unfortunately, the joust has been postponed until our knights return. But feel free to seek shelter inside. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Onward, Pee-wee. Everything is ready, Papa Smurf. Now remember, first the red powder, then the blue. Yes, Honnibus. First the red, then the blue. Ready, Brainy? You can count on me, Papa Smurf. I'm always ready, smurfing, and able to help because I'm your assistant in Brainy! The... Sorry, Papa Smurf. No, Papa Smurf. I'll stir while you pour. First the red. Rainy. Oh, then the blue. I just hope Enchanter Homnibus is home. I just hope he has something to eat. <laughs> Homnibus. <coughs> Homnibus. <coughs> Are you all right? <coughs> oh, yes. <coughs> I think it should have been the blue powder first, then the red. <coughs> So you see, Master Homnibus, we desperately need your help. An ogre, eh? I've never heard of an ogre in this part of the kingdom. That's more in your line, isn't it, Papa Smurf? Well, I do know one potion that works well against ogres, but everything I need is in my lab. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Hmm, no hard look! Now, this is a magic wand! Oh, please, Master Homnibus, he won't do it again. Well, it's against my better judgment. I say once a ham, always a ham. But for you, Johan, alakazip, alakazip. If you should ever want to change him back, I will be happy to do the honors. Thank you, and farewell, Homnibus. Come, Biquette. Goodbye, and good luck. Oh, I'll never be able to eat ham again. Be glad Homnibus changed you back before Greedy Smurf saw you. <laughs> is a very complicated formula, Johan. It may take me a while. Just work as fast as you can, Papa Smurf. Don't worry, I'll smurf my best. But I must not be disturbed. Don't worry, Papa Smurf. We'll keep him busy. Have a surprise, Pee-wee. A surprise? Oh, boy. Is it 
edible? Not really. <laughs> Very funny. Where is this ogre, Johan? That's what we have to find out, Hefty. What an adventure. Oh, we never have adventures like that. But maybe we could. Hmm, almost done. Just a little longer. Already, Papa Smurf? Yes, Johan. One of these vials is enough to knock out even the mightiest ogre. I'm giving you two, just in case you lose one. But remember, it has the same effect on humans. You mustn't breathe it, or you will fall asleep instantly. Thank you, Papa Smurf. We'll be careful. <laughs> Won't we, Pee-wee? I'd better keep these. Some Broadback and the Knights must have taken this road, but there's no trace of them. Maybe they chased the ogre into the woods, or maybe the ogre chased them. Hello, what have we here? Ogre tracks? No, hoof prints. They lead this way. Then I'm going this way. Broadback's horse. And there are the others. But, but where are the knights? Something's amiss, Pee-wee, and the answer lies at the end of that trail. <laughs> Ride Bayard! Wait! Don't leave me! Wait! So Broadback! Whoa! to the left, if you don't mind. Right. I mean left. Hmm. It's stuck. <laughs> well, accidents do happen. We were taking one of Perot's shortcuts when... Don't touch that rope, Johan! When we stopped for the night, the villains doused us with water from the rusty river, and our armor rusted even as we tried to get it off. We'll see to unrusting the others. No, Johan, I'll take care of that. You ride back and warn the king. Perot intends to seize the castle while it's undefended. So that's the scoundrel's plan. Let's get moving, Pee-wee. <laughs> Let's just hope we're in time, Pee-wee. Now, this is an adventure. Uh, yeah! But shouldn't we tell Johan and Pee-wee we're here? Not yet. Wait until we get to the castle, or they may try to send us home. The drawbridge is up. That's a good sign. Look, Johan, on the ramparts. It's the king! Hail, sire! Is everything all right? Uh, yes, uh, quite all right. Uh, I'll lower the drawbridge. Yeah! Your Majesty, we must act quickly. The ogre story was a trick. That man Perot is a traitor, and he is plotting to take the castle while it is undefended. I know. You know? But how? Ha ha ha! I've already taken the castle, young squire, and the kingdom is now mine as it should be. I'll have a thing or two to say about that, knave. Ha <laughs> ha! Seize him! Across the bridge! 
Jet! What kind of welcome home is that? It makes me mad. I'll wager you thought you had the jump on me. Ha <laughs> ha! You scoundrels aren't as tough as you look! Oh, Yoho! Help me! Help! Sabina! Hurry, Yoho! Please! Help! Save me! Be brave, princess! I'm coming! Hand <laughs> the oldest trick in the book, and you fell for it. A stunning performance, Cendrion. Now get that runt peewee. Peewee! Hey, how are we going to find him in the dark? of a rope, it will have to do. You all know what you're supposed to do. Recover the key from the bottom of the moat. Good luck. Here we go, Smurfs. Uh, maybe this kind of adventure is best left to humans. Gee, I hope the water's not cold. It's not cold, clumsy. It's... <laughs> It was a job well done. Now if we can do our part as well. Mm. Now if I can just reach the lock. Uh, just a little closer. I want to know what we're going to do if we do get out of here. This castle is crawling with 
villains! Don't worry, Pee-wee. I, I have a plan. Well, what is it? I'll tell you later. I've got it! Oh! What do we do next, Johan? We must gather as many suits of armor as we can. Let's go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Nothing like an early breakfast, eh, Perro? Aye. <laughs> I think this kingly life agrees with me. And I was born to be a queen. <laughs> I'm finished, servant. Remove my plate. Remove it yourself. Oh, please, let me help. Look out, you wretched serf. Oh, forgive me. I do apologize, your majesty. Well done. Well, time to go to work. After all, there are burdensome taxes to levy, and innocent people to oppress, and other kingdoms to conquer. <laughs> now, where shall we start? Taxes, I think. What? No, no, it can't be. The king's army, but, but it's just not possible. I'm afraid it is possible, Perrault. You! We have you surrounded, villain. Throw down your arms and surrender, or I will order the king's forces to attack at once. I sure hope Handy's inventions work. Don't be a fool, Perrault. We outnumber you. No, I don't know how you did it, but I will not surrender my crown. To arms! To arms! They've made their choice. Fire at will! Well, we wanted an adventure! Yeah, we sure got it! into the castle. Follow me. Oh, no. Oh, Sabina, I never thought mopping could be such fun. <laughs> Nor I. There he is. Here, meddlers, catch up on your reading. <laughs> Look out. Oh, that was close. The sleeping oil, Pee-wee. We'll take care of that scoundrel. Wait here. I'll chase Pierrot right into your sights. Right. And then I'll let him have it. I've lost him. Now to Eskin. Going my way? What, you again? You won't make a fool of me, Johan. I won't have to, villain. You do a much better job all by yourself. I'll get you if it's the last thing I do. I hope Pee Wee doesn't miss. The minute that villain runs through the door, I'll... Oh, boy! Here he comes! Gotcha! Oh, Pee Wee! What the... I'm sorry, Johan. Anyone can make a mistake. Besides, you were supposed to be chasing him. So, those knights are merely empty suits of armor. We've been tricked. Charge! Oh, dear. Here they come, and we're out of ammunition. Whoop! Well, well, those knights were merely empty suits of armor, eh? Yes, but by now, Johan and Pee-wee have captured your leader. The trick worked. Wrong. I have captured the tricksters. The battle is over. We have won. Oh, gee, I thought the good guys always won. What are we going to smurf now? 
Look, it's the king's real army. But they can't get in. Unless we lower the drawbridge. Let's get scurfing. Piro, the king's army is outside the gate. So what? They can't get in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The Smurfs. A war? They're trying to release the drawbridge. I must help them. Zombie, now come back here. I can't seem to get the knot undone. It's stuck. Where do you think you're going? Let me go. You should never lay hands on a princess. No use. Too tight. If I can just... Stop her. What a shot. Wow. She's stuck. <laughs> later, Smurfette, but first, I'll render it harmless. Let's just hope there are no more of these in bloom. Johan, Johan, listen to my beautiful new song. Me, 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 me. There was a maiden, a maiden so fair, with sun in her heart. And gold in her hair. Oh, I just remembered, Pee-wee. I have some chores to do. You always got chores when I start singing. But this time, you've got to listen to me. There was a maiden, a maiden so fair. With, with what luck, a window. And gold in her hair. <gasps> Johan! Excuse me for dropping in, Princess. I see your fencing has improved. Oh, thanks to you. Will you show me more? Well, I shouldn't, but... Here's another ploy you might try. Excellent. Chores, huh? Well, he missed a beautiful song. Sabina, you may be the king's niece, but you're not a proper princess yet. Yes, Dame Barbara. And you never will be unless you study your lessons. Ladies, do not fence with young squires. Well, I, I was just leaving. A cook will listen to my new song. Potions for headaches, ointment for jouster's elbow, tonics for the plague. Bah! I hate this job. But this potion, this potion will make me a rich, rich man. Yeah, at the king's expense. <laughs> the king's dinner is almost ready. Want to hear my new tune? No, 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 Pee-wee. I'm sure the king is impatient for his meal. Oh, come on. Here's the first verse. Me, 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 me. No, no. Me, 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 me. Yeah. There was a maiden, a maiden so fair, with sun in her heart. 
Ghastly. Oh, sunlight, oh, moonlight, don't fall on my chair. Bravo, bravo, well played, Pee Wee, bravo. Clodderick, what brings the king's potion maker to the kitchen? Why, your music, of course. Oh, well, in that case, an encore. Me, me, me. There was a fair maiden, a maiden so fair. Even a proper princess needs a snack now and then. Oh, sunlight, oh, moonlight, don't fall on my chair. The shadows you cast. Sabrina! Oh, oh, Queen Barbara. What are you doing here, young lady? A princess's place is surely not in the kitchen. Yes, Dame Barbara, but I, I just... No buts! Come along, back to your astronomy lessons. Mm, yes, Dame Barbara. Would you like to hear another song, Clodderick? Isn't the king waiting? Yes, and his food is getting cold. Oh, right. I'll take it to him. My pleasure. Goodbye, Clodderick. Goodbye, Pee-wee. Yeah, it won't take long now. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. A meal fit for a king, if I do say so myself. Now, to the business of the day. Uh, first, uh, uh, your highness. <gasps> oh, dear, Uncle. Maybe he's fainted from too much food. I think not. Who poured the king's drink? Yes, who poured the king's drink? Why, well, I poured it for him myself. Besides, I drank some and I'm perfectly all right. <laughs> That's a matter of opinion. All right. Who brought the king his food? Yeah, what traitor brought the king his food? You did. Oh. Now, wait a minute. No one accuses Pee-wee. Easy, my friend. The important thing now is to help the king. Perhaps I could be of assistance. Perhaps a potion. I saw Clodderick drop something in the king's food. He had a strange-looking vial. It is rude to point, Sabina. What have you done to the king, Clodderick? He is asleep, and only I can wake him. The price for this service, only 1,000 pieces of gold. 1,000 pieces of gold? Hey, that's blackmail. It's the dungeon for you, Clodderick. Fools, you'll never catch me. Get him! Stop, traitor! <laughs> He's locked the door. You don't say. There's still a chance I can stop him. Oh, Johan, be careful. Have no fear, princess. I hope this works. <laughs> Gloverick, hold! Never! Whoa! Got you, Gloverick. And I've got your sleeping potion. Come on, King. Wake up. Wake up! Cloderick's locked up in the dungeon. Good. But the King still sleeps. What do we do? Take this vial to enchant a omnibus. He'll have an antidote. I hope. I'm going with you. No, young lady. A princess's place is in the castle, not on a horse. Yes, Dame Barbara. I understand. <laughs> We're still a long way from Humnibus. Yeah, faster they are! Come on, Miket, move it! What are you waiting for, Johan? Oh, what have we here? Hold it, Pee-wee, someone's coming. Friend or foe? That, my dear Pee-wee, will soon learn. Oh! State your business. <laughs> Princess, Princess Sabina. Sabina! I was wondering how long you would stick to your books. There's nothing wrong with books, Johan. But a lady needs a little excitement. Let's go. Pia! Pia! Hmm. Well now, you're moved, Papa Smurf. Give me a moment to smurf, Omnibus. Ooh, push the king's pawn, Papa. Yep, push the king's pawn. Shush now, Clumsy, and let me think. Oh, then try. This ship takes Queen's... <laughs> that was quite a move, eh, Omnibus? Playing chess with you, Papa Smurf, is never dull. <laughs> Omnibus, Omnibus, thank goodness you're here. And we can use your help too, Papa Smurf. Yes, you must save my poor uncle, the King. The King? What's wrong? Clatterick, the potion maker, put him to sleep with this, and now we can't wake him. 
It's definitely oil of deadly nightshade, Papa Smurf. With a clove of elmwood smurfed in. Right. And I also detect a scent of bitter pond snort. No, I smurf, it's toadweed. Pond snort, Papa Smurf. Toadweed, definitely toadweed. Pond snort, toadweed. Stop, stop. Is there any antidote? No, most definitely. I smurf, we can both agree on that. Then let's get on with it. I sure hope this antidote works. Keep your lances crossed. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Where's my dessert? He's back to normal, all right. Well, it's about time. Oh, Uncle, I'm so glad you're back. But where have I been? In a trance, sire, as a result of this potion maker's trickery. He wanted a thousand pieces of gold to release you from the trance. This man is a knave and will be banished from my kingdom forever. Banished? You heard the king. Take him away. You haven't seen the last of me. One day, I'll rule this kingdom. You haven't seen the last of me. Mark my words, I shall return. Oh, Johan, he frightens me. Never fear. I'm a great potion maker. A shaker of this, a teaspoon of that, some bark from a tree, a hair from a rat, a sprinkle of salt, a barley, and malt. Stop it, stop it. Less singing and more mixing. I'm almost done, sire. I'll prove without a doubt that I should be your new potion maker. My potions will treat sore toes and sore feet. Just stay in your seat. Here you are, sire, a cure for your bunions. Oh, oh. Have you anything for a headache, Pee-wee? Very funny. Sit right there, Your Majesty. I'll come up with something to clear up the head. Some sulfur, some lead, a mushroom, some zinc, some octopus ink. Just give him another chance, sire. At least Clodderick didn't sing. This will fix your headache, sire. Sire? <coughs> Where are you? I can't see a thing. <coughs> Where's the window? <coughs> I must have air. doing down there? Hang on, sire. Oh, do I have a choice? Help! 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 Oh! How's the headache? Pee-wee, you, you, I'll, I'll, I'll. Maybe I should have banished Pee-wee instead of Clodderick. I thought you said this was a shortcut, Brainy. Well, it's a little longer now, but it gets shorter later. I knew it was a mistake listening to you, and Papa Smurf is waiting for these mushrooms. Oh, look! Those rare flowers Papa Smurf warned us about. Careful, Smurfette. Remember what Papa Smurf said. Uh-oh, someone's smurfing. Let's get out of here. Clodderick says the hellebores are ready to harvest. Flowers to conquer a kingdom? Bah! It's foolishness. We'll soon see. Oh, dear. These humans are planning something bad with those evil flowers. Yeah, by Smurf, we better follow them. Well, I'm Papa Smurf's assistant, and I think we should let humans be humans. Smurf our own business and... Hey, wait for me! Clodderick, we've got the Hellebore flowers. I think we've Smurfed enough. Let's go tell Papa Smurf. No, not until we Smurf what's going on. Let me have those flowers. Now I can proceed with my evil plans. Careful, Smurfette! Tonight we take the king's castle. Tomorrow we rule the kingdom! <laughs> How can you be sure this will work? Not sure, dear Clovis. Here, see for yourself. <laughs> now, Clovis, go jump in the moat. <laughs> yes, Clodderick. Yeah! Satisfied now, Clovis? Well, what have we here? Three little spies. Well, whatever you are, soon you will be helping me. Oh, oh my! <laughs> Oh, 
all secure for the night? Rest easy, Johan. With the drawbridge up, only a bird could get in. Oh, well, even birds have to sleep, and so do we. Come along, Pee-wee. Good night, Squire. Good night, my friend. Johan, someone's in the stable. And I think I know who. Princess, I thought as much. You know how Dame Barbara feels about you grooming your horse. This menial work should be left to violence. Sabina, I know you're in there. I'll never be able to sneak past her. We need a diversion. <laughs> With pleasure. Sabina, <laughs> a mouse! Mm, I must go. You're not scared of a toy mouse, are you, Dame Barbara? Funny, eh? See if you think this is funny! Costly diversion. Ooh, I'm gonna get her! Tomorrow, tomorrow. It's bedtime now. Feeling better, Clovis? Some flowers. You've convinced me. But the effects only last an hour. Long enough to conquer the castle. Are the Smurfs ready? We'll never help you. Oh, yes, you will. Here, smell the pretty flower. <laughs> My dear. Make sure the guard smells it also. Then order him to lower the drawbridge. Yes, Connery. No, Smurfette, don't, don't. Quiet, fool. Here, you smell the pretty flower. <laughs> now shoot her into the castle. Huh? What's going on here? You must lower the drawbridge. I will obey. Fire number two. Huh? Number three. You will go to the dungeon. I will obey. You will go to the dungeon. I will obey. Everything's going smoothly here. <laughs> hey, Cook, I'd like a little midnight snack, if you don't mind. Oh, hey, where are you going? I want a sandwich. I must go to the dungeons. Why is he going to the dungeons? We have no prisoners to feed. I'd better find Johan. Who can that be at this time of night? Dean Barbara? What's wrong? What's wrong? Where are they all going? You wake me up because you can't get a sandwich? It's a plot, Johan. It must be a plot. Well, it better be. Step right in, everyone. There is plenty more room in the dungeon. <laughs> Oh, how awful. I must tell the king. <gasps> oh, no, my pretty little tattletale. Cloderick, let me go! Of course, but first I brought you a flower, my dear. No! Help! 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 There's no one to help you. I wouldn't say that. Me either. A peace offering, Johan? Thanks, Cloderick. I love fresh-cut flowers. Nero, Clovis, seize them! Run, Sabina! We must get to the king! Let's hope Clodric hasn't got to him first! Nee, 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 nee. He can't get me! Yikes! <laughs> Made it! Awaken the king! Oh, no! It's too late! Nah, he's just sleepwalking. Come on, up and at him, sire! What's all the fuss? Nothing, nothing at all. Your castle's just been invaded, that's all. What? Quickly, sire, get dressed. We've got to get out of here before they get in. Harder, you fool! Too high to jump. There's no way out but to fight. Under the bed! Hey, I'm no coward. I'm not gonna hide. But there's a secret trap door under the bed. Well, why didn't you say so? Blast! They're gone! Quick! The coast is clear! Look! Smurfs! They're under a spell, too! We'll take them with us! There they are! Across the drawbridge! Hurry! 
I'll hold them off. Raise the bridge. He'll never make it. Made it. He loses more swords that way. It's no use, Pee-wee. We're lost. But we've got to find Papa Smurf. Perhaps he can help us. I hope. Don't we need a Smurf to guide us to the village? Yes, but these three are in no condition to guide us anywhere. <laughs> condition? Who's in condition? Johan! Pee-wee! Your Highness! What are you doing out here? Looking for you! Just as I feared, the Hellebore. Well, it should work off within an hour. Smurfette! Smurfette! Oh, Papa Smurf! Boy, am I glad to Smurf you, even you, clumsy. Oh, thanks, Brady! <coughs> oh, well, I could easily change my mind. If the Smurfs are recovered, then so are the King's Knights. Right! Now all we have to do is free them from the dungeon. Simple! But how? We'll raise our own army. You will bring me all your gold, grain, and possessions within the hour, or I will be back. You're not our king. You can tell us what to do. He would never do this. I, Cloderick, am your ruler now. You have one hour. <laughs> What's the big hurry? We're bringing tribute to our new king, King Cloderick. Nonsense! Cloderick is a traitorous scoundrel. I am your king. A king without an army? How can you defend us? We must join together. I have a plan to defeat Cloderick. Uh, his forces are strong. The people are afraid. What do you want us to do? Just give us a ride into the lion's den. Right on time. Let's see what these peasants have brought. Grain, Cloderick, and bread. Excellent. Take it inside. <laughs> There's gold in this one, Cloderick. Falls gold. Surprise. You again. This time you won't escape. Hurry, my Smurfs. We must free the knights in the dungeon. Nowhere to run, Johan. Better look behind you. That old trick won't fool me. Well, I tried to tell them. Uh, I can't reach the keys, Papa Smurf. Ah! We've got to try again, Smurfs. There are too many of them, Johan. Help should be on its way. I wonder what's keeping the Smurfs. Oh, Uncle, we're running out of ammunition. Oh! Sabina! Surrender! I have the princess! <laughs> I've got the key, Papa Smurf! Clovis! Meadow! Take them to the dungeon! Mama! My knights! They're free! Seize the traitors! Seize them! Sorry we took so long, Johan. Better late than never, Papa Smurf. Excuse me. Going somewhere, Cloderick? You'll never catch me! Well, Cloderick, there's one bridge you won't cross when you get to it. Here's another batch of vegetables, sire. My garden has never done so well. It's the new gardener, Your Highness. Cloderick was so good at raising hellebore, we thought we'd give him a little change. Raising vegetables. Yeah, he's working on a new plot of land. Get it? <laughs> a new plot of land. <laughs> I'm liking them for a joke. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest thing you ever heard? No. 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 Oh. Ah, uh, you wouldn't know a good joke if it hit you in the face. <laughs> but I certainly know a good joke when it hits you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Papa 
But, Smurf, do you have to go? Well, Smurfette, I do need some deep-sea driftweed for one of my elixirs. And any Smurf knows the only place you find deep-sea driftweed is out at sea. So Papa Smurf is going sailing with Johan and Pee-wee to get some deep-sea drift... Really? We know! Here, Papa Smurf, let me! It's heavy! Thank you, Tefty. Imagine sailing, smurfing over the bounding main, the wind smurfing the sails! Oh, that sounds exciting. Oh, Papa Smurf, could we go sailing with you? I hate sailing. Well, there's plenty of work to do around here, but uh, if any Smurf really wants to go... Yippee! We'll go back! Oh, I want to come too, Papa Smurf! Wonderful day for sailing, eh, Papa Smurf? Indeed it is, Johan. But I don't think Pee-wee's enjoying it. Oh, farewell, world. This time I'm finished. I'm not gonna make it. Mark my words. Oh, poor Pee-wee. Maybe something to eat will make you feel better. Oh, eat. Oh, Smurfette, don't mention food at a time like this. Poor boy. I hope we find that driftweed soon. Don't worry, Papa Smurf. We'll spot it from up here. All right. Watch where you're smurfing, Clumsy! Do you smurf any driftweed, Clumsy? Uh, uh, no, no, uh, we don't smurf a thing, uh, except that big storm cloud over there. Storm cloud? Papa Smurf! Johan! A storm! A storm! Oh, my smurfness! Are we in any danger, Johan? Unfortunately, yes. Hang on, everybody. We ride the storm out. I hope. Oh, oh. maybe golden sailing wasn't such a smurfy idea. Poor Fiwi. This storm must be making him really seasick. Oh. Smurfette, have you seen the food basket? I'm starving. You. You're no longer ill. I guess not. I feel my best on stormy seas. It whets my appetite. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. Hey, come back here. There. Mm -hmm. Much better. Mm -hmm. The mast is breaking. Watch out, Smurfs. Smurf for your lives. Pee-wee, oh. the mast! Oh no, the ship is foundering! Smurfs, Pee-wee! Over here, Johan! Where are the Smurfs? Smurfs! 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 Papa! Smurfette! Where are you? Smurfs! Poor Smurfs! Well, there's always a chance, Pee-wee. What's going to happen to us, Papa Smurf? <laughs> oh, Papa Smurf, what if you want to see we are? <laughs> Just hope for the best, Smurfette. There's always a chance the tide will smurf us and them toward land. If we get out of this, Johan, I'm going to have the biggest meal. Sausages, ham, cheese, bread, apples, and... Pee-wee, please, stop. You're getting me so hungry, I'm, I'm seeing things. I see it, too. Land! We made it! We made it! Not yet. The tide is changing our course. We'll have to swim for it. Swim? On an empty stomach? Pee-wee! Hey, Pee-wee! So if we're not dead, where are we? Someone must have found us on the shore, and... No, no, I tell you, I've given you everything, everything! Someone's in trouble, Pee-wee. Come on. <laughs> Can't we have some breakfast first? That's all? One bag of grain? That's all you have? I, I swear it, Graco. You, you took the rest last week. Release this man, you fat bully. Who said that? I did. Why are you bullying these simple folk? Mind your own business, meddler. I'll teach you to... Ah, oh, sit down. Ow! 
Johan and Pee Wee, at your service. Why, you stripling? You're no feeble, are you? Well, you'll be sorry you ever tangled with me, boy. It takes two to tangle, fat bully. And one is leading. <laughs> You'll regret this. You'll regret this. If Greco and his men get their hands on you, they'll throw you into the dungeon. And throw away the key. They can't do that. Not without a fair trial. Yes, they are brutes. Believe us. Flee and hide. But there's a forest behind the hill. Wait there, and I'll come for you when it's safe. But, oh, Lupa, we're too late. <gasps> it's Greco and his men. Hurry, you can escape out the back door. Without finishing breakfast? Hide, hide in the woods. Good luck. Quickly, Pee-wee. Greco's horses won't be able to get through these thickets. <laughs> Johan, they've released dogs. <laughs> Don't let them escape, at least not in one piece. <laughs> Smurf is me, dogs! They're smurfing this way, Papa Smurf! You must be better Smurf for cover, hurry! Hurry, Pee-wee! I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying! Yoha! Pee-wee! Papa Smurf, can it be true? We thought we'd never see you again. Oh, we Smurf the same about you. But we're all as good as Smurf. Do you know where we are, Johan? In trouble, Papa Smurf. Some nasties are right behind us. Oh, Smurf are right in the nose. Their dogs are on our trail, Papa Smurf. Save yourselves. Mm. I think I can throw them off the scent, Johan. But you and Pee-wee will need a good hiding place, and fast. This way, Draco. They're headed for the inlet. We'll feed them to the fishes before we're through. <laughs> They're here, all right, Quico. I don't see them. They're not in the water. Let the dogs go. They'll find them. We've got them now, Quico. Surrender, you scoundrels. You're trapped. Raccoons? You call these mongrels hounds? Bah! I'm sorry, Greco. Should we keep looking? Thanks to you, those intruders are gone. But I'll wager they'll never be back. <laughs> Thank you for the help, my friends. But Papa Smurf, where are Johan and Pee-wee? Right here, Papa Smurf. Your plan worked. <laughs> what a Smurfy idea for a hiding place. <laughs> I just wish I could hold my breath that long. Pee-wee, you were supposed to breathe through the reed. Oh, so that's what it was for. <clears throat> if I may say so, we ought to Smurf out of here before those nasty humans and their dogs Smurf back. Good idea, Papa Smurf. Let's go. All this hiding is making me hungry. Johan, Pee-wee. More humans. We'd better hide. Oh, there you are. We heard them chasing you. Are you all right? No, we're hungry. Well, I think we could manage something. My wife is a good cook and... Say no more! <laughs> Let's go! So you're the ones who stood up to Greco. That took real courage. It must have worn them out. Johan, do you realize what we're finally going to do? Eat! Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I thought it would never happen again. Yeah. Johan, Pee-wee, stop. Our hearts. You... You are walking too fast. Too fast? But we're walking at a normal pace. Not fast enough. I'm hungry. Oh, it's not you, my friend. It's us. We feebles tire very quickly. The result of a spell cast upon our village long ago by an evil sorceress. Ever since, we've been as feeble as babies. We have no strength. So that's why you can't stand up to that bully Greco. We'd offer you more, my friends, but Greco takes most everything. Mm, like Pee-wee. Greco makes us give him all our vegetables, all our eggs. He leaves us just enough to survive. Oh, our lot in life is a sad one. 
Oh. <laughs> if there was only some way to give you feebles back your strength. There may be a way. It's been said that water from the magic fountain would restore us. Magic fountain? Then why don't you go there? Alas, the journey is long and we tire so quickly we'd never make it. And there are terrible dangers. I'll bet this loaf of bread that Johan offers to go. Pee-wee and I will bring you some of the magical water. I knew it! I knew it! I won the bet! You would do this for us. Oh, it would be so wonderful to be strong again. Come, I'll lead you to old Thorkell. He knows where the fountain is. You must follow the river until it becomes a stream. And then you must follow the stream until it becomes a trickle. Oh, it's a long way, I'm afraid. And it's difficult and dangerous. But two strong young lads like you should make it. We're strong, all right, and brave, too. Then you won't be afraid of the gruesome grotto. Gruesome grotto? Or the 20-foot giant. 20-foot giant? Or the four-headed serpent. Four-headed serpent? Thank you, Thorkell. We'll leave at dawn. We? What do you mean, we? Let's leave now. For home! Mama! Good luck! They'll need it, especially after I tell Greco about this. <laughs> <laughs> Better stock up, my little Smurfs. It's a long, long journey to the magic fountain. Hush! Someone's smurfing. Hide! When I tell Greco that Johan and Pee Wee intend to find the magic fountain, <laughs> he'll reward me well. <laughs> Papa Smurf, that feeble is a traitor! We'd better warn Johan and Pee Wee at once. Pee Wee, wake up! Wake up! Pee Wee, we must leave! Wake up! Give up. Hmm. Perhaps if I drop a pin. What was that? What was that? Pee Wee, thank goodness. A traitor has informed Greco of our plans. We must start our journey immediately. Oh, right, Johan. We'll meet you at the river, my friends. All right, Papa Smurf. Well, nothing like an early start. Hey, Pee Wee. Pee Wee. Oh, Pee Wee. Pee Wee. Pee Wee. Yeah. Well, eavesdropping again, Eves? Uh, no, I, 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 I mean, yes, I, I, I mean, I, I, have, I have important news for Breco. Well, he's sleeping, so be gone. Yeah, but, 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 uh... Bring the feeble to me, Claude. I will see him now. Don't forget to follow the river. We won't, Thorkel. Good luck, my friends. Where are the Smurfs? They're supposed to meet us here. Yo! There you are. Come on, let's get going. We must get to the magic fountain. You've done well, Eves. Treachery like yours should be rewarded. Thank you, sire. Here. A penny? What? I, I mean, how very generous of you, sire. Claude, Bimbo, intercept those two before they bring that magic water back. Yes, yes sire. All I want is something to eat. Pass me the bread, Johan. What bread? You ate it all, remember? You know how I love a big breakfast. Arr! It's a, a, a giant! Arr! Run for it! Smurf for your life! Arr! Mama! I'll never outrun him unless... I hope giants hate water! Help! Help! Oh, how brave of Pee-wee, luring the giant away from me! Help! Ouch! Oh, oh excuse me! Accidents do happen. I'm in a bit of a 
up. Hurry, so, uh, help! Let me go! <laughs> You're really asking for it. Let me go or else I'll, I'll, I'll run! Don't worry, Pee-wee. <laughs> Don't worry, he says. That's it, my Smurfs. Mean old giant. Smurf me some more acorns, clumsy! Right, Hefty. Bravo, Smurfs. We'd better get out of here. Yes, I Smurf, that's the best thing to do. Oh, la la lu do da di do di di. I'm a pretty butterfly flower, a little flower. <laughs> I will gather all the flowers on the dee dee doo. The giant doesn't seem too dangerous now. They've come this way, all right. We must stop Johan and Pee Wee, or Draco will have our hides. Yeah! Mm. Johan, are you sure we're still following the river? I'm certain of it. I can barely see. How do you know? Because I'm walking in it. Johan, Pee Wee, look! Look! The grotto! The gruesome grotto? We cannot back out now, Pee Wee. Draco's men are probably on our trail. Oh, it's dark in here, Papa Smurf. <sighs> It's also cold. I can see why they call this the gruesome grotto. Magma! Smurf for cover! <laughs> That's smurfing them, Johan! One thing's for sure. We'll always remember the Feebles and their confounded fountain if we ever get there. Don't worry, Pee-wee. We'll get there. I hope. Papa Smurf, the path is getting wider. Oh, and brighter. <gasps> Look at that! An underground world with trees and flowers. It can't be far now. Oh, look, a Smurfy. Magic fountain. It's about time. Let's get some what? Keep away from the fountain. Yay! Or you will pay the consequences. Heed my words. I am the keeper of the fountain. Big pardon, sire. But we've come for some of your magic water. You see, the Feebles need it to restore their strength. No one takes my water, you little imp. Little imp? Come on, Johan. He doesn't look so tough. I'm not so tough, but he is. <laughs> I bet. Pee-wee, I have a plan to get the water. But what about the snake? You distract the keeper. Leave the snake to me. But how? I'll tell you later. Later? Always later. This time there may not be a later. Uh, what about the snake, Johan? That's where I need your help, my friends. Now watch this one. Which hand is the walnut in? Uh, this one. Wrong. No, this one. Wrong again. Ta-da! Pretty good, huh? No? Well, how about a joke? <clears throat> what do you feed a giant snake? Give up? Anything he wants. <laughs> Mine likes mice. Don't be afraid, my little Smurfs. All we have to do is divert the snake away from the magic pulse. Let's Smurf out of here! Those brave little Smurfs did it! Now to fill this water bag, and we can get out of here. You'll love this one. What has four heads and scales? Pee-wee, come on, I've got it. J just a minute, Johan. Four heads and scales, give up. Four butchers! <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> no? Goodbye. What a grump. Four butchers? <gasps> Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> we did it, Johan. We really did it. Now we have to find the Smurfs and get this magic water to the Feebles. Oh, no, you don't. Hand over that magic water. Quick, Pee-wee, run for it. Let's get them. Hey! Ow! Something hit my foot. One of your elves? Ow! No! Blue rats! We lost them, Johan. But I won't lose you. <laughs> Die! Oh. 
Pee-wee! Sorry, Johan. Just a little mix-up. If we can just beat them to the waterfall. I don't see why. What does the waterfall... You'll see. If it isn't tell you later, it's you'll see. I was right. Graco's men left their horses below. Stop! Stop! Jump, Pee-wee! Jump? Are you kidding, Johan? Yay! Let's go! Here, my good Feebles, we've brought you the magic water. And it wasn't easy. Aren't you happy to see us? I am! Graco! We've been waiting for you. Get the water! Pee-wee, catch! Don't worry, Johan. I'll deliver this water. I've got trouble of my own, Pee-wee. The water! I've got it. <laughs> now, my little Smurf. Oh, Smurf. Well, I guess we Smurf that, traitor. We're not done yet, Hefty. Let's get Smurfing. Oh, poor Johan and Pee-wee. If only we were strong enough to help them. We'll never get the water now. Lupo, it's the water. I just hope it works. My my strength has returned. The water, it has cured us all. Come on, let's help Johan and Pee Wee. Uh. Have enough, eh? Are you all right, Pee Wee? Lupo, you're strong again. Leave our guests alone. Oh. Oh. Three, four, five. I'd say the tide has turned. I'm getting out of here. Not so fast, Greco! No! No! Mercy! 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 Whoa! <laughs> Goodbye, Johan and Pee-wee. Thanks for saving our village. Aren't the Feebles nice folks? They built us another boat. They even gave the trader Eves his strength back. But I bet he's sorry they did, now that he has to work for a living. <laughs> What a Smurfy adventure, Papa Smurf! Yes, but we never Smurfed what we came for. What then we come for? Ooh. Ow! Smurf overboard! Clumsy! You did it! Oh, my dad? Yes! You found the driftweed for my elixir. Oh, I did? I did! <laughs> My Smurfs, this must be a very Smurfy present for Pee-wee's birthday. I can't wait for Pee-wee to play this harp. He's almost as good as I am. And he makes a Smurfy birthday cake, too. Mm, I just love his birthday cake. I love anybody's birthday cake. Hey! I must have used too much yeast. Help! Help, Johan! Coming, Pee-wee. Behold. An eight-layered cake, Pee-wee. Showing off. Always showing off. Well, have you carried out my plan? Aye, sir. The royal tailor has already left the castle. That forged letter was a brilliant idea. <laughs> the tailor thinks his brother is ill. <laughs> Good. Now a little wild goose chase should keep the tailor away for days. I still don't see how that's going to make us rich. Because, dear Becca, we'll soon have the crown jewel. The king's crown jewels? But how? Leave that to me. After all, I am the king. <laughs> I can't wait for my birthday party down by the pond. Down by the old mill pond! There'll be you and me, and Sabina, and the Smurfs, and Biquette. Biquette? What can a goat do at a birthday party? I taught him to put out the candle. Nice trick, Pee-wee. Well, the candle's out, isn't it? Don't worry, Biquette. I'll bake another cake. <laughs> What do you think of this goblet as a present? Is that the best you can do for my birthday? How stingy. It's not for your birthday. It's for Prince Morris, his wedding. Uh, Johan, what do you think? 
Well, it's quite unusual, even interesting. Uh, where did you find it, Your Majesty? Years ago, I received it as a present from Prince Morris's father. It looked just as cheap then. So I see. But to punish Prince Morris because of his father's stinginess might seem rather mean, sire. Johan's right, sire. It is rather mean. But do it anyway. <laughs> Can you suggest another suitable gift? Uh, something inexpensive. Perhaps worthless. Well, how about Pee-wee's lute? Hmm. No! No! Oh, it's probably too good for Prince Morris anyway. It is. It'll be the goblet then, unless I find something even more worthless before tomorrow. Tomorrow? I'm leaving tomorrow. But you'll miss my birthday party. I do wish I could be there. This is the perfect shade for a banquet coat. The gravy stains will never show. <laughs> Just a little tuck right here and... Oh! Oh, excuse me, sire. Where is Spencer, my regular tailor? Uh, uh, his brother, your highness, is extremely ill. His brother? Young Spencer has a brother? Hmm. What's wrong? I, I am so very tired. Uh, so very, very tired. That sleeping needle worked fast, Sora. Here! There. Now let's see. <laughs> a perfect likeness. Ah, oh, Your Majesty, if perchance you have a moment, might we select the jewels Princess Sabina will wear at the wedding? Jewels? Oh, oh yes, the wedding jewels, yes. <laughs> yeah, lead on, good lady. Uh, my lord, do I detect a certain change? In your voice? Yeah, my voice? <coughs> yeah, I'm afraid I have a slight cold. You must preserve your health. After all, you are our king. <laughs> the key, your highness. The key? Oh, yeah, oh, yes, the key. <laughs> the key. Yeah. Yeah, this one? Thank you, your majesty. <gasps> your highness! <coughs> the cold. <coughs> um. For Princess Sabina, and for you, madam. Oh, Your Highness, you are so generous. Oh, sire, with all you have, isn't that rusty goblet a rather pitiful wedding present for Prince Morris? A what? For who? Yeah, oh, yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah, perhaps this plaster statue of the king, of myself. Oh, I see. Of course. Don't you recall, Your Majesty, I had it made for storing your private papers. So you did, so you did, yes. Well, no matter. This is to be the present. And I must say, a very tasteful one. And now, madam, I wish to be alone with my thoughts. Of course, sire. Of course. And my jewels. <laughs> for soon all of this will be mine. <laughs> Now, I shall deposit this in the bushes outside, and Becker will pick it up with the wagon at daybreak. Don't worry, sire. I've got it. Who? Oh, uh, uh, wh what are you doing? Johan! What are you doing here? The statue is about to fall, Dame Barbara. Yes, yes, I was just admiring it in the moonlight when it slipped. And luckily, uh, uh, Johan came to the rescue. Well, until we leave for the wedding, it must be safeguarded. But of course, of course. Take this statue and guard it well. With my life, sire. <laughs> Feeling any better, your highness? Dame Barbara, you have no idea how I feel. Come, Johan, the king needs his rest. Now I shall have to travel to the wedding with that old battle axe. But for the crown jewels, I can endure even that. <laughs> Nicely done. Sabina, most ladylike. Thank you, Dame Barbara. Now, for some real riding. Hiya! Hiya! How does she get around so quickly? Dame uh, uh, Barbara? Your Majesty. Yeah, no, uh, please be certain Princess Sabina packs her necklace for the wedding. Its appearance, I, I, I mean, uh, her appearance is all important. Of course. Oh, and sire, may I suggest that for the safety of us all, we be escorted by twice the usual number of knights? 
<laughs> More nights? Oh, no, 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 no. All we need are drivers. True, Uncle. So what about Johan and Pee Wee? Oh, Sabina, those boys would be no match for robbers. Hmm. Yes, Sabina, fine idea. Johan and Peter will do nicely. Peter? Oh, that's Pee Wee. Uncle seems so distracted. Just the wedding, I suppose. I must send word to my men. And if anything goes amiss, you will attack at Falcon's Rock. Sorrow thinks of everything. Concentration and practice is all it takes, Johan. Concentration and... Johan! Pee-wee! I'm going to miss your birthday party with the Smurfs. Miss my birthday? Oh, I am sorry, Pee-wee. But duty and Dame Barbara demands I attend the wedding. Well, did you bring my present? Pee-wee, where are your manners? Did you bring my present, please? <laughs> no, but I brought you some wonderful news. You two are also coming to the wedding as our escort. No, oh, that doesn't. Now I'm going to miss my own party. <laughs> my own personal birthday party. He hides his disappointment so well. <laughs> you laugh now, knaves. But wait till Johan finds you, and he will. Even now, he and Pee Wee are scouring the countryside. I know it. Carefully, Pee-wee. Carefully. I'm careful. <coughs> I'm careful. Ooh, my statue! Oh, no! Got it, Your Majesty. Oh. Pee-wee, how could you be so clumsy? I'm just keeping Johan on his toes, Dame Barbara. What a lovely day, what a lovely day. The sun is bright and we're on our way. What a lovely day. No rain in sight, no clouds of play. We're on our way, you be hurry! What a lovely day! Why am I singing? The Smurfs will be waiting at the pond for my birthday party, and I'll be at the stupid wedding! Pee-wee, I'm sure the Smurfs will understand and save their presents for you. They better, or I'll never play for the king again. Help! I am the king! I demand to be rescued! At last, someone's coming. Oh, dear. A wolf. Go away. A wolf pack. If I don't get out of here, maybe rubbing his mouth against the bark. Oh, Papa Smurf, I wish all the Smurfs could have come. So do I, Smurfette. But because it's harvest time, and there's so much work to be done... The royal coach, hurry! This rock slide will block the trail, then we'll attack. Oh no, you fool! The whole hill is crumbling! Hang on! What's the meaning of this? Who's throwing rocks? It's a landslide! I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. What a birthday! Ten tons of falling rock! Mama! Time for a detour. But there's no road. This road is certainly overgrown. Blast! They've turned off. Those young drivers have more courage than Sorrel gave them credit for. Don't worry. Things will go better at Falcon's Rock. <laughs> Made it, Pee-wee. Pee-wee, have you found the road yet? Say, aren't we near the pond? Ah, oh, the harp is truly smurfy. But the playing... Oh, Papa Smurf, a coach! The royal coach? Pee-wee's traveling in style on his birthday. But why isn't it stopping? Please, Johan, can't we stop? Can't we? I want my birthday present. We're already late for the wedding, Pee-wee. The king will be upset. Pee-wee! <laughs> Whoa! Johan, why are we stopping? Pee-wee's just stretching his legs, sire. I'll go get him. I think I'll stretch my legs, too. Wait, Johan! Sabina! A proper princess does not stretch her legs. You mean there won't be a Smurf Day party, Pee-wee? Sorry, Greedy. We're driving the king to a wedding. Johan! Princess Sabina! Hello, Smurfs. Oh, Princess Sabina, you look smurfier than ever. So do you, Smurfette. Johan, we cannot delay any longer. What? Good day, Your Majesty. 
good day to you, little fellow. And, oh, little fellows. We're no little fellows. We're Smurfs. Don't you remember us? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course I do, yes. But alas, we are due shortly at Falcon's Rock. And I, I mean the wedding. Yes, the wedding calls. You want me, we, Sabina? And so does Dame Barbara. Goodbye, my loyal Sturfs, uh, uh, Slurfs, uh, uh, subjects. Uh, Johan, onward! I'm sorry, Papa Smurf. I hate to take a present and run. By the way, is this heart my birthday present? Yes, Pee-wee. Happy birthday! Oh, <laughs> I love it! Oh, what a lovely day! Oh, what a lovely day! Come on, Pee-wee, we must be going. Goodbye, Smurfs. Thank you for the birthday present. I love it. Oh, what a lovely day. Oh, what a lovely day. <sighs> it's no use. These ropes are too strong. What a fine day this has turned out to be. I've got my heart and my heart's got me. Oh, I have such a headache. My good lady, if you listen to that soothing music, your headache will vanish. Vanish? I wish Pee-wee would vanish. The king must be getting tone deaf. He's certainly not himself today. La 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 Oh, Papa Smurf! Whoa! And they sound hungry. Hmm. Wolves never hunt this early in the day. Something's not quite smurfy. We'd better take a look. The day is fine, my heart is mine. This'll stop that coach for sure. That lady, the fine old lady, lady. Get ready, Becca. Now! Hang on! Sounds like the king. Uh, but he can't be, can it? Ow! Ow! Whoever he is, he needs our help. <laughs> Nobody move. Easy now. Yeah. Pull, oh, Pee Wee. Right, Johan. Come on, horsey. Come on. No! Stay away! Stop! This human is our friend. Now go away and leave him be. Oh, my Smurfs, you have saved my life. Your Majesty, it is you. But how? Where is your coat? Oh, and Johan and Peewee and Sabina. They are in terrible danger. We must find them. I'll explain as we go. What caused the accident, Johan? It was no accident, Princess. Nor is this. <laughs> Your jewels or your lives. Let her go, scoundrel, or face the consequences. Please do not harm us. Our valuables are in the back. Hey, put me down. Mm, this looks valuable. Let go of that. It's my birthday present. Becca, hey, what are you... No, Johan, don't. These men are dangerous. I'll teach you a lesson. No, I'll teach you. Do oh, you're going to pay for this? But maybe not right now. Where are you, you little runt? Why, you... I guess we showed them, Johan. But look what that varlet did to my birthday gift. And we're not through. Princess, into the coach. I'm sure if we just give them what they want... They won't get away. <laughs> Sabina, that was not very polite. But entirely <laughs> proper. <laughs> Don't you agree, Your Highness? Yeah, oh, yes, 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 entirely proper. What a devilish plan. An imposter king to steal the crown jewels. Oh, Papa Smurf, the king should rest. You're right, Smurfette. Smurf here for a while, Your Majesty. My Smurfs will go on ahead. Yes, Papa Smurf. <sighs> we must stop those villains. Papa Smurf? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We will. I hope. Oh, I've had enough. That's a first. 
But thanks. Mm. All this excitement has made me hungry. Watching you eat makes me lose my appetite. Ah, thanks. Anybody else? First the rock slide, then the ambush, and the strange behavior of the king. The king? What's wrong with the... What's wrong with the king? He eats like a bird, he doesn't remember the Smurfs, and he loves your music. What does that add up to? Well, let's see. He's on a diet, his memory's gone, and he's finally developed an ear for music. Pee-wee. I think he's an imposter. But what has he done with my uncle? I'll make him confess. No, Pee-wee. That might put the real king in even greater danger. Well, what will we do? We'll keep a close eye on this imposter. And perhaps he'll lead us to my uncle. Sabina, there you are. A proper princess does not whisper. Now, come along. Yes, Dame Barbara. Pee-wee, are you watching the imposter's tent? Oh, Pee-wee, you were supposed to pretend to sleep. You won't have to pretend, Johan. <laughs> Ouch! Johan? Johan? The imposter isn't in his bed. Sleep well, princess. <laughs> Any trouble? <laughs> They're sleeping like babies. The crown jewels are ours. Let's go. Yeah. Everyone's here. But they're asleep. And there goes the coach. With the crown jewels. Oh, dear. Johan, Pee-wee, please wake up. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, it's no use. Hey, you Smurf, you jokey, until Papa Smurf comes. We'll catch the coach. Hi, Papa Smurf. Oh, dear, those villains must have used the sleeping pin on them. Some men dragon leaf should Smurf them up. <laughs> Maybe this surprise will wake Pee-wee. <laughs> what? Hey, what, what? Pee-wee, you're awake. You can't fool me, you imposter. Where's the real king? Come on, talk. <laughs> Pee-wee, this is the king. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one can ever catch us now. Thank goodness you're safe, Uncle. Thanks, Murphness. The Mandragon worked. But how are we going to catch those villains? Wait a moment. Good work, Pee-wee. You had Bayard and Biquette follow us. Oh, I wish there was another horse. I'd go with you. It's a good thing Dame Barbara didn't hear that. Murphette, we've smurfed off the main road. How will the others find us? Oh, if we can only mark our trail. Maybe we can, with the crown jewel. Which way, Pee-wee? If we choose wrong, the crown jewels are lost. No, they're not. I just found one of them. The Smurfs have left us a trail. Come on, Pee-wee. Yeah! And a diamond, an emerald, a sapphire, and a ruby. Pee-wee, we'll pick them up later. Later? Always later. Smurfette, we've run out of jewels. There's nothing left to Smurf the trail with. Well, we don't need to leave a trail. Grady, look! It's Johan and Pee-wee! Johan, it's Harmony! I'd know that playing anywhere! Yeah, Bayard! Go, Biquette! Come on, Johan! <laughs> the crown jewels are ours! All ours! That's what you think, Knave! Johan! And his meddling pal, Pee-wee! You! Yeah. Not so fast! You'll be sorry you came back. And that's how two picks are made. Get me out of here! I'm getting out of here! Oh. Hey! Whoa! Oh. Pee-wee! Uh. Oh. oh! You really got my goat! The cat! Ah! Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 What are you doing here, fool? Get them! Now, villain, off you go! Get me out of here! Whoa! Good work, Johan and Pee-wee! Looks like these three got in a little over their heads. Now can we pick up the crown jewels? Yes, Pee-wee, now is a very good time. <laughs> this fancy stuff is for the birds. Look at the princess. Oh, Papa Smurf! And Sabina looks smurfy! She certainly does, Smurfette. Pee-wee! Our present. 
I'm coming. I'm coming. No, no, not there. There. Uh, maybe. Oh, no, you. Oh, over there. Uh, no, better still. No, I think better over there. My dear Bob. Oh, yes, that will do nicely. Oh, Your Majesty, I. Oh, no. Don't worry, Dame Barbara. Johan always saves the day. As a matter of. Alas, Pee Wee, not always. You clumsy little. Come back here. Oh, when I catch you. Oh, Johan, help. Johan, help. 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 I hope we're in time for the Smurfs picnic. I'm starving. Don't worry, Pee Wee. There's plenty of food. At least there was. Lady. I brought a whole Smurf load. Mm, wait. Here, Pee Wee. I'm a Smurf Fairy Tart. Oh, thanks, Greedy. <laughs> Johan, Pee Wee, we're so glad you could join us. Thank you, Papa Smurf. We've never been to a Smurf picnic before, right, Pee Wee? Mmm, -hmm. delicious. I'm hungrier than the Goblin of Boulder Woods. Goblin? <laughs> oh, yes. A goblin once lived in the forest near the king's castle. Oh, that's spooky. This goblin once had the whole kingdom shaking in its boots. Tell him the story, Johan. Oh, good. A story. Now, everybody gather round. Smurf in closer, my little Smurfs. Uh, Red! <clears throat> Not that close, clumsy. Is it an adventure story, Johan? Oh, there's plenty of adventure, Hefty. <laughs> what about jokes? I just love jokes. <laughs> yes, Jokey, there are some jokes. And is there a princess in it, Johan? Yes, Smurfette, a princess too. Ooh, tell us, Johan! Yeah, tell us your story! Well, it all started before I knew Pee-wee. A mysterious goblin was frightening everyone in Boulder Woods. Oh, Papa Smurf, I'm getting scared already. Be careful, Smurfette. I think the goblin is closer than you think. <laughs> <laughs> The adventure began as I rode out from the king's castle, never dreaming that I would meet up with a dangerous goblin that very day. Hmm, that sounds like Francois the woodcutter. I must hurry and finish before the fearsome goblin returns. <sighs> well, time for my apple. Die! Someone ate my apple! A goblin! That's funny. I could have sworn I heard Francois. Psst. Johan, is that you? Francois! Did you see him? See who? The terrible goblin that's haunting Boulder Woods. Goblin? I thought everybody knew. He's only this big, and he makes horrible faces. And he just ate my apple. He's in there. No one here? Are you sure? Ah! Over there! Goblin or not, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Aha! Francois, I've got him! You see? This goblin is more clever than I thought. He must be long gone by now. But I'll capture him yet. Goodbye, Francois. Princess Sabina returns today, and her room must be redecorated, the floor scrubbed, a tournament held in her honor, and then we must see to it that the servant... Enough! Royal Game Hen, my favorite. Ah. What? <laughs> Guards! <laughs> Guards! Help! My hen! Sire? My hen is gone! Sire, a mysterious goblin is plaguing the kingdom. That's nothing. He's stolen my game hen. I want this creature caught. This goblin thinks only of his stomach. That gives me an idea. Aha. Now I've got you. Hey, let me go. You're hurting me. Come back here, you varlet! Now, we're 
I could hear Khan. Aha! Thought you had me stumped, eh? The cat! The cat! The cat! Now I've got you all! <laughs> nice work, the cat! After him, the cat! What's your name, Goblin? Pee-wee. And this is Biquette. Me. Who are you? I am Johan, the King's Squire. You know, for a Goblin, you don't look very fierce. And for a big guy, you don't look very mean. Hey, do you have any more food? Just this loaf of... That'll do. ...bread. Tell me, you haven't always lived in this forest. What did you do before? Mm. I went from farm to farm, looking for work. Our people would make fun of me and... Takes me away. I've tracked a lot of trails with an empty stomach. You're not a goblin at all. <laughs> of course not. One day in the forest, a man saw me and fled, screaming, there's a goblin in Boulder Woods. <laughs> so now I pretend to be one, and I get away with plenty. Like stealing swords. Can't you do anything besides steal? Well, um, let me think. I can do somersaults and cartwheels. I have a full repertoire of interesting expressions. <laughs> and best of all, I can sing. Me, 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 me. A bold young knight went off to fight for the hand of his lady fair. Oh! Forsooth, said she, I'll marry thee, and you won't have a care. Oh, you won't have a care. Oh, oh, you won't have a care. Oh, that's uh, excellent, Pee Wee. You know, I think I can get you a job in the castle. As the king's minstrel singer? No, as the king's joker. Huh? Hey, that's even better. I know lots of jokes. Did you hear the one about the... Sorry, Pee Wee, but I've got to get back to the castle. I'll speak to the king, and if he agrees, you can tell it to him. Oh, boy! A boy! Young knight went off to fight for the hand of his lady fair. Oh! All is in readiness for Princess Sabina's arrival, sire. Excellent. Now, what about this goblin fellow? What's his name? Pee Wee, sire. And he's completely reformed. I would even propose that you employ him as. Your Highness! Oh, your Highness! Princess Sabina's been kidnapped! Kidnapped? Call the guards! Call the guards! Yes, Your Majesty. The goblin attacked us as we were crossing Boulder Woods. Oh, my poor, poor Sabina. She's just a child. Kiwi? He couldn't have. First he tied up the guards, then he carried the princess away. Angelot and I were the only ones to escape. As we ran, we heard his terrible scream. Kiwi! Kiwi! Oh, no. He did. Kiwi, is it? Well, he'll be screaming something far worse if I ever catch him. One thousand crowns to whomever saves the princess and brings that villainous Pee-wee to me. After him! Pee-wee must not escape! Yes, 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 yes. But why would Pee-wee kidnap the princess? I don't understand it. I'm going to find out. Hi, Johan. What's... All right, Pee-wee. Why have you kidnapped Princess Sabina? Me? I didn't kidnap her, Johan. But I saw the rascals who did. They were dressed up as the king's guard. Two of them, and they rode back towards the castle. The scoundrels. They were the ones who accused you of the crime to throw us off the scent. But what can we do? I'm sorry I doubted you, Pee-wee. <gasps> Come on, I have a plan. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, Squire Yoan, it's you. I'm sorry to see you didn't find the princess. No luck with the goblin either. Oh, it's hot in here. Be quiet. Your dinner, my friends. Compliments of the king. Oh, thank you, sire. I'm so hungry I could eat a goblin. <laughs> and not a pint-sized one like that peewee either. <laughs> eat hearty, men. Ah, good riddance. We fooled them all. <laughs>
Our master, Walfriket, will reward us well for our part in the kidnapping of the Princess Sabina. Mm. And the best part of all mm, was blaming everything on that little fool, Pee-wee. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Ow! You kicked me! Why, you? you kicked me, will you? Take that! It shouldn't be long now. Ah! Huh. I may be little, but I'm no fool. So, Walter Cat is the villain who kidnapped Princess Sabina. Right! Let's go tell the king and clear my name. Then his army will take care of Walter Cat. Pow! Wham! It's not that simple, Pee-wee. We must go to Walter Kett's castle and get proof. <sighs> Pee-wee, we're here. Pee-wee, wake up. This goblin is a deep sleeper. What? Oh, help! Sound the alarm! <gasps> That's Sir Liferoy, one of His Majesty's knights. He must be in on the kidnapping as well. <sighs> I must go after him. Pee-wee, you hide. Oh, anything you say, Johan. Good evening, Sir Pyfroy. Is it not a strange place and an odd time for a ride? Uh, I'm looking for that uh, uh, goblin, Pee-wee. In Waltriquette's castle? What are you really doing there? It's none of your business, Scarlet. Now, let me try. <laughs> After him, they are! Yeah, yeah! Ha ha! He'll never catch me on that fool horse! Steady, Bayard! <laughs> All right, Pyfroy, where is Princess Sabina? In my castle, Johan! Where else? <laughs> and don't worry, I'll see that you have adjoining dungeons! <laughs> And that traitor, Sir Pyfoy, is in on it, too. I must tell the king. But, but the king still thinks I kidnapped the princess. Oh, Johan, what am I gonna do? Who says they don't build dungeons like they used to? There goes that villainous Pyfroy, and there's nothing I can do to prevent his treachery. At last, it looks like everything's going according to plan. Pee-wee! Help! Let me loose! Let me loose! Ha <laughs> ha Hmm, that hay wagon gives me an idea. I hope I can overpower the guard. Uh, my master wishes to see you. Come with me. Oh, charming. I get a giant instead of a guard. Ah, you are. I am so happy you could join me. As for me, I don't like the company of traitors. Why have you kidnapped the princess? Ha! At this very moment. Sir Pyfroy goes to tell the king that Pee-wee the Goblin demands a ransom for her, and he must deliver it himself. Now I understand. You'll ambush his majesty as you did the princess. And in exchange for their freedom, half his kingdom will be mine. You're a clever fellow, Johan. Why don't you join my side? Never. In that case, guard, take him away. Pee-wee! Pee-wee! Pee-wee? I'll get to the bottom of... Boom! Sire, it's that goblin fellow. Pee-wee! 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 Guard, take Johan back to his cell. Put him in chains and then find that Pee-wee goblin. Here we go again. I'll be back with your chains in a moment. <laughs> Pee-wee! How brave Pee-wee is. I just hope he doesn't get caught. If that goblin gets away, he can foil my plans. He must not escape. Uh, these chains will do nicely. Now all I need is my hammer. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> that should be.
can't hold you for a while. There's no way that giant is putting me in chains. This time, I'm ready. <laughs> you look surprised. Well, I, I was expecting someone a little bigger. Come, we must free the princess. Do you think these will help? Quick, check the dungeons. I can't find the right key. Hurry up, I hear them coming. Princess Sabina. Johan. If I'd known you were so pretty, I would have kidnapped you myself. No time for jokes, Pee-wee. Quick, stop them before they escape. Keep going, you two. I'll take care of these lumps. Pee-wee, Pee-wee. We have them now. This passageway is a dead end. <laughs> That's what they think. Aha! They're escaping up the chimney. Pee-wee! It's only that fool, Pee-wee. You two catch him while I go after Johan and the princess. Sit yourself, my friend. <laughs> oh, no! How am I going to get down? Pee-wee's diversion must have worked. Out! Princess, stand back. On guard! I men have Johan cornered. Oh! Who goes there? You fool! Then let them get away! Huh? Well, I was outnumbered. We'll have to fight our way to the drawbridge. Johan and the princess. Will the guards stop them? No! But now, now there's a guard on the left. And another on the right. Oh dear, Johan. Now it's two against one. But he's a big one. Oh! Well, thanks for the help. Anytime, Johan. Yay! That's what I call teamwork. Uh-oh, more men. Johan's outnumbered. Johan, look! Look out! <laughs> Johan, Iwi, hurry! Faster! Get them! Close the trap door! <laughs> there, we are safe. My uncle, the king, is still in grave danger. Sir Piper is going to lead him into a trap. <laughs> I don't think so, because I left Sir Piffy tied up like a Christmas goose back in the woods. Pee-wee, for a bad goblin, you do good work. But why did you come back at all? You owe us nothing. Don't be foolish, Johan. A goblin never deserts his friends. I see. Well, in that case, let's get on with our escape. And I think these old clothes may just do the trick. <laughs> We've got them trapped like rats up there. And tomorrow the king will be my prisoner as well. I hope it's strong enough. Talk about hanging by a thread. Pee-wee, you go first. Then help the princess. I'll distract the guards. Oh, simple. I just jump out the window 500 feet above sharp pointed rocks and... All right, Pee-wee, go! <laughs> Who's sounding the horn? It's Johan. You can see him from here. Look. Someday I'll have to give Johan some music lessons. Sire, it's a ruse. One of them is trying to escape. Fools, cut down his rope. Oh, no, they spotted Pee-wee. Pee-wee, jump. Jump? That could be dangerous. Never. Mama! That's one less goblin we have to worry about. <laughs> Poor Pee-wee. I didn't know him long, but he was a brave and good friend. It's too bad that... Go on! Look! There! He, he did, did it. it! He, he did, did it! it. Yeah. Being a hero is difficult work. Now to warn the king. But first, I better check on that traitor Pythroy. Oh, no! He's escaped! But that means he's at the king's castle. And if the king believes Pythroy's story, then the king will leave the castle, and then... Oh, dear! All is lost! And without the cat, I'll never get there in time. <laughs> Faster. Your Highness, no, don't go into trap. Sire, do not listen to this rogue. This is the Goblin Peewee. I'm warning you, Sire, this Goblin is not to be believed. You're the goblin? Sir Pyfroy told me you want a ransom for the princess. Your Majesty, I'm no goblin. I want no ransom, and Sir Pyfroy is a traitor. But couldn't we discuss this better over uh, breakfast? <laughs> 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 
He should have returned long ago. Well, but, but, my, my lord, the king is here. Ah, finally. Victory is ours. Bring the king to me. But, but, but he brought his entire army as well. What? Look, princess, the king and Pee-wee, we're saved. Uncle, uncle. Hello, Sabina. Sire, shall I order the attack? Hmm, yes, an excellent idea. But how will we get across that moat? Leave it to me, sire. Johan, the drawbridge! The drawbridge, of course! Up there! Stop him! Oh! Now, where was I? Oh, the drawbridge, of course! Stop him! Don't let him get away! Oh! <laughs> Johan, you've gone too far! Not far enough! I have you surrounded! No, Waltricket. It is I who have you surrounded. Charge! Oh, no! After him, Bequette! Help! Help! Save me! That's it, Bequette. Once more for good luck. Now one for kidnapping the princess. We'd better save that villain while there's still something to save. I surrender! I surrender! Just get that goblin and his devil goat out of here! Pee-wee! Pee-wee! Oh, defeat hurts. Oh, Uncle, I'm so happy. Pee-wee wasn't much of a goblin, but I think he'll make a great court jester. I won't come out! No, absolutely not! I refuse! Whatever's going on? I had a proper jester's outfit made for this little ingrate, and now he dares tell me! I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! Your Majesty, just because I'm supposed to act like a fool doesn't mean I have to look like one, too. <laughs> but he's so cute. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dame Barbara. You... Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. What did I tell you, Johan? Pee-wee's a success. And that is how Pee-wee and I first met. It was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh, how smurfy! Smurfy? That means nice. I think it means brave. Friendly. Dependable. Right. Now you're smurfing it. We, we are. are. Here, Pee-wee, let's be friends. I have a surprise. Gee, thanks, Jokey. I think our friendship just went up in smoke. Unless you wouldn't happen to have another surprise, would you? Wait till I give this to Dame Barbara. <laughs> Are you sure you know how it works? Of course! Oh, I can't wait to see her face when she opens the lid like this. <laughs> oh, the cat! I think Pee-wee's got a little head start on me. So long, my friends, until we meet again. Yeah! So long, Johan. See you soon. Why the hurry, Papa Smurf? We don't want to keep the Enchanter Holnipus waiting. Uh, what's he waiting for, Papa Smurf? For the party, silly. Uh, what's the party for? For the summer solstice comes in. The beginning of summer. Coming for berries, cakes, whipped cream. <coughs> I can't wait. What's your present for Enchanter Holnipus, Papa Smurf? A Smurfy new spell, Smurfette. One that will keep Hondibus cool this summer. Here, Papa Smurf, let me show them how it works. Wind from the forest, wind from the seas. Bring me cool air. No, Brainy. Bring me a breeze. Oh, Papa Smurf, what a strong wind. It was meant to provide a cool breeze for Hondibus. It's too powerful for Smurfs. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, how do I unsmurf the spell? It's on the other side of the scroll. I'm gone, Pop Smurf! Oh, sorry, Brady. You all right? <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> Smurf-licious! Don't worry, Papa Smurf. I smurf us into this and I'll smurf us out. Winds from the east, winds from the west. Please give this breeze a well-earned rest. 
I did it. Oh, I knew I'd do it. Like I've always said, Papa Smurf, I... Oh, oh no! Look! Nice work, Brainy. You smurfed us back to our own village. Well, Papa Smurf always says it's an ill wind that doesn't smurf somebody some good and... It's a good thing this is the beginning of summer, Brady. We want to get there sometime this year. Bravo! Bravo, brave knights! Well done! Very well done! Aren't they wonderful, Pee-wee? Yeah, wonderful! They look just wonderful! Well, Count Gregor, what do you think? Oh, Your Majesty, to think that you have put on this demonstration in my honor. Well, I, I am most flattered, sire, but surely not worthy of such a... Nonsense! Nothing's too good for Sabina's new tutor. Right, Sabina? Oh, yes, Dame Barbara. Right you are. You are most kind, Princess. Johan, there's something strange about this new tutor. Why? Because he won't teach you archery or fencing, or maybe how to tie knots. <laughs> Johan, you promised to teach me this afternoon. I'll teach you right now, Princess. This is a slip knot. Now watch me rope that pole. Whoops! I missed! Oh, boy! Excuse yeah. me! <laughs> Bravo! What a funny little fellow you have there, Your Majesty. Johan, that horse is running away with Pee-wee. Hang on, Pee-wee! Are you through horsing around, Pee-wee? <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> Sabina! A proper princess does not laugh at nonsense. Now show Count Gregor to the library. Time for study. Yes, Dame Barbara. The girl needs your guidance, Count Gregor. We are fortunate to have found you. <laughs> Foolish woman. After years of searching, it is I who am fortunate to have found the princess. <laughs> While Sabina practices her lessons, we'll practice our jousting. On an empty stomach? Yeah! Steady now, Bayard. Steady. One, two rings. Now you try it, Pee-wee. Right, Johan. Go, the kid. Pee-wee, you're going in the wrong direction. That's what you think. Steady, Biquette. One, two hams. Oh, Pee-wee. Some bread, some cheese. <laughs> I can learn to love jousting. Pee-wee, keep your lands up. I'm trying, but I've got a full meal on here. What? <laughs> Your Excuse me, Princess. I'm sorry to barge in on your studies, but I... Princess? Leave her alone, you meddling fool! What have you done to the Princess? Let me go! Very well, huh? <laughs> hey! Oh, get me out of here! Go on! Go on! If that rascal Pee-wee is disturbing Sabina's lessons, I'll... The spell! He's swearing off! Count Gregor, if that Pee-wee is bothering... Yeah! <laughs> No bother, Dame Barbara. <laughs> I'm just leaving. What's going, Count Gregor? Fool! Behold, Gregorian, the Raven Wizard. Whoever you are, unhand the princess. You're no match for me, Johan. Sabina, come. She's under my spell. I'll save you, princess. No! Oh. oh, you fool! Anyone can make a mistake. Hold, Gregorian! Au revoir! <laughs> Pee-wee, save her! Save her? I can't even see her! <laughs> Johan, I did it! I got him! I... I'm... I'm... I'm flying! Not for long, you little fool! Little? Nobody calls me little and gets away! <laughs> You, Pee -wee. Pee -wee? I've got you, huh? We must somehow overtake that evil wizard and save the princess. Come along. Get this helmet off me first. 
Later. Later. Always later. Count Gregor was really Gregorian? I always thought the Raven Wizard was a, a myth, a story to frighten children. So did I, sire, until today. Oh, Your Majesty, we must do something to save dear Princess Sabina. Yes, we must organize a search party at once. Ow! Ooh, careful! Oh! You call that careful? What have you there? I tore it off Gregorian when I fell. Wow! I'm rich! It's magnificent! Oh, lovely! Hey, give it back! I found it! It's mine! Kiwi, this jewel may be our only hope of finding Princess Sabina. Well, I guess you can borrow it. But how will this gem lead us to the princess? I'm hoping Enchanter Homnibus will know. He has to. Ah, princess, awake at last. Who are you, creature? And what do you want with me? Don't you remember me from your childhood fairy tales? I am Gregorian, the raven wizard. <gasps> the man who dared the forbidden. And was cursed with the head of a raven. Your voice. You were Count Gregor. Only temporarily. But now. I believe I have found a way to become human again, permanently. And you are the key, Sabina. I have searched years for a princess as beautiful as you. I'll never help you, Gregorian. You have no choice. Tonight, when the moon is full, your beauty will become one with the heart diamond. And with this stone, I shall... No. Oh. The heart diamond! It's gone! Those meddling boys! That must be where I lost it! Powers of darkness, let me see the diamond that belongs to me! Faster, Pee-wee! We must get this jewel to Omnibus! Omnibus! That old wizard could ruin everything! Those meddling boys must be stopped! Feathered beast, I call you forth! Stop these two from traveling north! Over, Bayard! Over! Having a bit of trouble, Johan? Perhaps you'd like me to... Help! Help! I'm coming, Pee-wee! I... I... can't reach! <laughs> The tree will hold them until I get there. I know this is improper, but... <laughs> Pee-wee, we're free! No! You foolish girl! You have disrupted my work! It's the least I could do. No matter. My friend here will keep you company until I return. <laughs> Raven watchdog or not, I'm going to get out of here. Luckily, a proper princess always has a hairpin. Oh, I wish Johan had taught me how to pick locks. And then, Enchanter Omnibus, the Raven Wizard flew away, taking Princess Sabina with him. So I see. Old Gregorian. Haven't heard of him in years. Can you help us, Enchanter Omnibus? Hmm, perhaps. Perhaps I can. But first, I must prepare defenses against the Raven Wizard. Right! Defenses! For Gregorian has the power to turn men into ice. Men into ice, right. Ice! Ice? Here, Johan, the diamond's yours. I don't want to be an icicle. Master Homnibus, do you suppose we could trade this diamond for the return of Princess Sabina? I'm afraid not, Johan. To remove the curse, Gregorian needs the jewel and the princess. And he will definitely be here soon. Oof! Here? Soon? Let's see the Raven Wizard get through that! Unfortunately, Pee-wee, I need some fresh herbs for my... My diamond! Where is my diamond? Looking for this, Gregorian? Don't be a hero, child. We'll have to do better than that! Oh! 
fast! Not so fast, Gregorian. You're too slow, Hondibus. <laughs> now, for my diamond. Pee-wee, get it. I've got it. I hope you know what I'm doing. Little best. Whoa! Farewell, fools! <laughs> nice try, Pee-wee. Is he gone yet? Yes, but he has changed poor Hondibus into ice. Johan, he... he's starting to melt. What will we do? Hello! Hello! Here we are! Oh, I can hardly wait to see Hondibus' face when we surprise him. Yes, so quietly, my little Smurfs. Papa Smurf! Oh, are we glad to see you! Oh, my Smurfness! What's happened? Oh, what happened to Humnibus? Let me explain everything. You see... Keep fanning, Pee-wee. So you see, Papa Smurf, we must rescue Princess Sabina, but we dare not leave Humnibus. You can change him back to normal, right, Papa Smurf? Alas, no, Pee-wee. I can't Smurf an antidote without knowing more about Gregorian's power. Oh, I can't fan much longer. But I do have a way to Smurf Hubbleybus cool in the meantime. Leave it to me, Papa Smurf. I've Smurfed this before, and I'm ready, Smurfing, and able <coughs> to... I'll Smurf the spell this time, Brainy. It's working, Papa Smurf. Your spell is keeping Homnibus from melting. And my arm from breaking. There's no time to smurf. We must find the raven wizard. Greedy, you stay here with Homnibus. Right, Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, good care of him. And his cake, too. Now to find that mean, nasty raven wizard. Lead on, Papa Smurf. He, even I thought this Gregorian was only a legend. Oh, then how are we going to find him, Papa Smurf? Huh? If only I had something of Gregorian's, I could. What about this couch? That'll do nicely. Smurf it here, baby. Oh, sorry, Tracker. South by Southeast. Yes, that's definitely it. He smurfed the set. I did it! <laughs> Princess, but now that I have my diamond back, you may as well surrender. But what of Johan and Pee-wee and Enchanter Hondibus? I stopped them. Cool. <laughs> Thus, tonight, when the moon is full, I will be free of my curse forever! Oh, the princess never gives up hope. Never. We must continue on foot, Pee-wee. The ground is too soft for horses. I'd say it's Smurfit for frogs. Be careful, Smurfs. Gregorian is sure to be wary of unwelcomed guests. Maybe I should stay with Bayard and Baquette. Poor mm -hmm. oh, Hobbibus, he really would have enjoyed this cake. Mm, it's cold. I'd enjoy it more if I wasn't freezing. Mm. A little fire can't hurt. Maybe one more log. That should do it. Mmm, smurfy. Hold it, every smurf! <gasps> Oof, that's quicksand. Fearful stuff. <laughs> Johan, help! Hang on, Pee-wee, and take cover! Stop, Raven, stop! We mean you no harm. I wish they felt the same way, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Must be under Gregorian's control, Smurfette. Help! I don't want to be a raven's dinner. Help! Johan, help! Ah. Oh, I'll save you, Brady. Ah. 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 Thanks, clumsy. He's fine. Should Smurf the trick? I'll distract the ravens. There are too many of them. Oh! Hang on, my Smurfs. What do we do now, Papa Smurf? Don't worry, everybody. I've got a plan. Not one of your better plans. Ugh. Now we're all stuck. There's 
one chance. Well, hurry up. I'm not as tall as you are. If I can just... There. Oh, it has to hold. It's holding, Johan. Thanks for the lift. Yes, Johan. Thanks. Now I know how Bayard feels. Hmm, nothing like toasting Smurf berries over a nice Smurfy fire. <laughs> I hope Papa Smurf gets back before I run out of wood. The lair of the Raven Wizard. You'd have to be a raven to get up there. Uh, maybe we could climb it, Pee Wee. Huh? Maybe not, Clumsy. Too bad we didn't bring feathers. Too bad we didn't bring a catapult. That's an idea, Pee Wee. Smurfs, gather all the vines you can. Vines? For what? I'll tell you later. Later? Oh! At last, the moment I have waited for. Jewel of darkness, jewel of light, jewel of color, jewel of night. Take all the beauty within your sight. Transform it to my power. Transform it to my might. Ah, it's working. No wonder you wanted to tell me later. This is a terrible idea. Think of the princess, Pee-wee. You're the only one who can save her. True. Very true, Johan. The role of a hero suits me well. No, wait, Johan. Wait! There must be another... Wait! Whoa! That was close. He's doing well. Johan! Phew! I made it! Up we go, Smurfs. When the jewel has drained her beauty, its energies will return me forever to my human form. Uh, which way, Pop Smurf? <coughs> Johan, don't leave me! I have an idea, Pee Wee. You'll have to tell me later. Mama! <coughs> Good work, Johan. Johan, I was the bait. Oh, pretty brave, wasn't I? Gregorian's laboratory. Oh, Papa Smurf, maybe we can find what we need to help Pomnibus. We must, Smurfette. Come on, Pee-wee. Our job is to rescue the princess. <clears throat> jewel of darkness, jewel of light, jewel of color, jewel of might. I will get Gregorian out of the room, Pee-wee. You must rescue Princess Sabina. Right, I'll rescue. But what if... Johan? Take the beauty within your sight. Give me its power. Give me its might. Count Gregorian! Johan! I found your nest, Raven. You'll be sorry you did. Try again, wizard. You will not escape, Johan. <laughs> I hope Johan doesn't end up like his sword. Don't worry, Princess. I'll have you out in a second. Oh, Pee-wee had better hurry. I can't keep running about all night. No way out, Johan. There's always a way out, Gregorian. <laughs> now to finish my transformation. I'm at the end of my icicle. We heard you crying. Thanks, Smurfness. We got here in time. Oh, thank you, Papa Smurf. I hope Pee-wee's as lucky. <sighs> I'm at the end of my rope, Sabina. The moon is waning. The spell must be completed at once. <sighs> I'm trying, Princess. I'm trying. Oh! What? What's wrong? You! You fool! You ugly fool! You've destroyed everything! Oh, no! Kiwi, what has happened? Not much. I just smashed the diamond into a thousand pieces, turned Gregorian into a raven, and rescued the princess all in one stroke just by bravely placing my face in front of Sabina's. Oh, Pee-wee, the face that launched a thousand <laughs> chips. Johan, Pee-wee, Smurfs, you've saved me. Oh, how can I ever thank you all? Well, don't thank them. Thank me. I did all the dangerous stuff. Oh, Pee-wee. <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe there's something to this hero stuff after all. Gregorian has flown the coup, the heart diamond is destroyed, and the princess is safe. But what about the antidote for poor Enchanter Omnibus? We smurfed an antidote in Gregorian's laboratory. Enough for Papa Smurf to break the spell. Mmm, something's cooking. Oh, no, not a fire. Greedy Smurf, what have you done? Brrr, Papa Smurf, it's so cold. The fire's gone out. Oh, it's a good thing it did, Greedy. Omnibus almost melted. I'd better smurf up an antidote before Greedy cooks breakfast. There, Omnibus, you're back to normal. Except for my cat. And no food in the house. Excellent breakfast. And now for a dessert drink. Let's see, a dozen eggs, some cream, some sugar, some salt, some vanilla. Pee-wee, that's not vanilla. It's from old oh, Gregorian's lab. Here, Pee-wee, let me help you out. Who needs help? This is delicious. You know, I think I've stumbled onto something. I think I'll call it Ice of cream. Now maybe just ice cream. Yeah, ice cream. and flies? I have the slightest idea. <laughs> a garbage cart. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest thing you ever heard, Fire? No. No? No. Oh. Do you like this funny face? Funny faces. Always funny faces. Oh. Some song and dance. Oh, you sing a little song. You do a little dance. It sure beats getting a kick in the pants. Song and dance. Always song and dance. Some juggling. Oh, no, no, no. Everything bores me. Boring. Huh, he's the one that's boring. You know, I'm really very talented. Yo, Pee-wee! Hmm, tasty. Tell me, Pee-wee, is the king... He's still bored. And if I bore him, you know it's hopeless, Johan. Hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. Well, I may have a cure for that boredom, Pee-wee. I've hired a traveling carnival, complete with jugglers. Hmm, traveling carnival. Huh, what can they do that I can't do? Hey, will you look at that? A bear costume. Boy, it sure looks real. Hmm. I'll bet I could get a few laughs out of the king if I wore this. I'll just see if it fits. 
Mm. Boy, this head must be glued on. Come on, you stupid costume. Off with your head. <sighs> Maybe there's some button somewhere. Button, button, who's got the button? No buttons? What a dumb costume. Here, Martin! <laughs> That's a real <laughs> bear! Oh! Come on, Pee Wee. This is no time to sleep. The entertainment is about to begin. And now, sire, may I start the proceedings with the marvelous Garbanzo family? It's not working, Johan. This is only the first act, Pee-wee. They'll get better. Martin, come back here! Uh, look out! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that funny, sire? <laughs> no. <laughs> Next, please. And the final act of this long day, sire, is the famous Happy Troubadour. It was a dark and gloomy day when the farmer's house burned down. His chickens died and his child fell ill, and all of his crops turned brown. No, 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 my good fellow. The king wants a happy song. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, why didn't you say so? It was a dark and gloomy day when the farmer's house burned down. His chickens died and his child fell ill. And all of his crops turn brown. I told you, Johan, if I can't do it, no one can. Sire, sire, a newly acquired special surprise. I now present something you have never seen before. What are? What are they? We're Smurfs, that's what we are. Smurfs? Smurfs? But they shouldn't be caged up like that. Where did you find these Smurfs? Well, I, I, I bought them from a woodcutter for only two crowns. Ah, but according to the king's law, you must free them if they can repay the sum you purchased them for, right? Here, little Smurfs, give these two crowns to your master, and you shall be free. Oh, thank you, Johan. What a miserable day's work. Two crowns? Tell us, little Smurfs, where do you come from? The forest. But our village was totally smurfed. Totally smurfed? How? Yeah. We're the only smurfs that escaped. But who could do such a thing? It was a smurf, that smurf smurf. You mean it was another smurf? No, 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 no. It was a big smurf, that smurf smurf. Yes, and we have to smurf back there right away. And we shall help you. Sire, Pee Wee and I must leave immediately to find this mysterious smurf, that smurf smurf. Then I'm going too. I need a little excitement in my life. Yes, yes sire. Wait, wait! Not so fast! Can't we stop now? I need some rest and refreshments. And I need some peace and quiet. Here we are. Thank goodness. Now I can eat and take a nap. We have come to ask your help, Sir Hominibus. These little Smurfs are in terrible danger. Yeah, we've been Smurfed by a Smurf that Smurfs Smurf. A Smurf that Smurfs Smurf? I think it means a witch that casts spells. Oh, no, that's not it. An ogre that hates cheese? No, no, that's not it either. Wait, wait. We shall try to find the answer in my crystal ball. Quiet now. I must concentrate. He's a prisoner! Puppet Smurf! Puppet Smurf! He cannot hear you, Smurfette. This is only an image. But where are the other Smurfs? And what knave is keeping your Papa Smurf prisoner? That I cannot answer, Johan. Then we shall find out. Smurfette, Hefty, can you lead us to your village? Well, we're not supposed to tell any humans, but... We'll show you the way, Johan! Good! We shall leave immediately. Johan, take this magic stick on your long journey. If you need water, tap the ground, say, Alakazam, and a fountain will appear. Really? Alakazam! No, wait! 
Hey, it works. How do you turn it off? Who said there was a way to turn it off? But, Johan, what about our horses? The way will be too difficult, sire. You mean we're going to... to walk? Walking. Always walking. Farewell, omnibus. Goodbye. And good luck. Uh, perhaps we should turn back, Johan. I'm tired. No, sire. We must press onward. Onward. We made it through, sire. At last. Are we in Smurfland? Not yet, sire. But it's just a hop, skip, and a smurf from here. Right across that desert. D -d desert Oh, oh, and to think there's a nice, cool well at the castle. Oh, I wish I was home. I wish you were, too. Peewee, it's time to use the magic stick. Yes, yes, the magic stick. Alakazam! After you, sire! It's salty! Salty? That's impossible! Uh-oh! It can't be! Omnibus wouldn't do this to us! Yuck. Salty! All salty! Oh, my kingdom! My kingdom for a pitcher of chilled grapes! My kingdom for a pitcher of chilled grapes! <gasps> look! Look! Water! Water! Blessed water! <sighs> Hi, Squirrel. Hi, Bunny. We're home again. <sighs> Finally. Well done, little Smurfs. There's our village. What's left of it? We shall find the one who did this, little Smurfs. I promise. Now, where is this Smurf, that Smurf Smurf? There he is! A dragon! Stand back, you overgrown lizard! Aye! Too hot to handle! That's it, big fella! Come on! Come on! Johan! Hurry! I have you, Pee-wee! Oh, thanks, Johan. Where's the dragon? I'm afraid he's gone and got himself stuck. <coughs> he's leaving. <coughs> Where's the king and the little Smurfs? Help! Put me down! I order you! I am the king! Let me go! Uh, no, no! Don't let me go! Help! Johan! The poor king! What will we do? Follow him! It's our only hope! And his! Come on! Trouble! Always trouble! Nom, 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 nom! Boy! Miserable mutton! Nothing ever! Daphne! Where did you find this old buzzard? Mind your tongue, sir. I am the king. Ah, I care nothing for kings. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh 
while you can. But when Johan and Pee Wee come to rescue me, we'll see who loves last. There are more of you. Fafner, go fetch them. The dragon! Quick, Pee Wee, hide! He must have eaten the king. Not necessarily. Come on. Oh, how terrible! That's all that's left of him. Perhaps not. He could have escaped into that cave. Is this all you have for me? Fifteen measly diamonds, you lazy little worms. If my bag isn't full by tonight, Fafner will roast your precious Papa Smurf. Oh, yeah? Let me at him. Let me at him. No, Hefty. Wait. Now back to work. Hey, Smurfs! Over here. Hefty! Huh? And Smurf there! Yay! Boy, are we glad to see you. How'd you find us? And where's the Smurf that Smurf Smurf? <gasps> Wait, Smurfs, it's okay! These are our friends, Johan and Pee Wee. We've come to help you. But tell us, who was that scoundrel with the whip? His name's Mono. It was Mono and his big Smurf that Smurf Smurf who destroyed our village. Ah, so it is Mono who controls the dragon. But where's Papa Smurf? Uh, Mono has him hidden in the cave somewhere. I bet he has the king, too. Then we shall rescue them. Come! <laughs> this must be Mono's hideaway. Well, well, well. Mono's been even busier than I thought. Johan! Yay! The tables have turned, Mono! match for me, boy. Now I shall teach you to dance. Sorry, but you're not my type. Ah! Oh, please, have mercy, sir. Have mercy. Lead us to the king and Papa Smurf. <laughs> Papa Smurf! My brave little Smurfs. Yeah! Are you all right, sire? Fine, Johan, fine. <laughs> this is all so touching. <laughs> That's the cave entrance just ahead, but you won't get away with this. Oh, yeah? What's gonna stop us, Mr. Smart Guy? Ouch! Yay! The dragon! <laughs> Quick, take cover! <laughs> We'll roast you all! <laughs> Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! I smurfed another exit! Yay! But it's only big enough for Smurfs! Oh! Well, let's take a look anyway. Here they come! Well, hello. We found walnuts, hazelnuts, chestnuts, and water. I, uh, uh, found these nuts, Papa Smurf! Those are snapdragons, clumsy. Papa Smurf, snapdragons, just what we need to escape. In the name of Smurf, that's right. Why didn't I think of that? Let's Smurf some snapdragons, lots of snapdragons. Smurf to it. Sire, help me gather some wood. Pee-wee, find a cauldron, quickly. But why? Tell me, tell me. I'll tell you later. Later, always later. Fools, you'll never get past Fafner. <laughs> And if we can get Fafner to drink this snapdragon juice, he'll sleep like a baby. Fafner! On guard! They want to... <laughs> Hooray! He's eating it! How long before he's asleep? Soon, I hope. Sure is asleep. Ah, uh, he's kind of cute when he's sleeping. 
Now what do we do with him? Very good question, Pee-wee. We can't let him loose. He is much too dangerous. Fools, there's nothing you can do. If we could only keep him from spitting fire. It is written in the Smurf books that a dragon that can't spit fire is no longer dangerous. That's it, Papa Smurf. Pee-wee, the magic stick. But don't tell me you're thirsty for salty water. No, no. I shall give part of it to a little Smurf, who must then enter the dragon's mouth and put out his fire. Oh. Try it, Papa Smurf. Alakasar! I will leave right away. Have courage, Papa Smurf. Soon I'll be free. <laughs> My Smurfness, it certainly is dark in here. Actually, I, I'm not really afraid, but I'll, I'll just whistle a tune to smurf up some courage. <laughs> it's hard to whistle when your teeth are chattering. Ah, a glimmering. Oh, my. That's a real blast furnace he's got there. Phew. Oh, this heat is unbearable, but I must get closer. I must. Do you hear anything, sire? Nothing but the beast's heart, I'm afraid. Oh, I hope Papa Smurf is all right. You Papa Smurf! Smurfette, look out! The dragon is waking up! Good grief! Papa Smurf is still in there! <laughs> Get them, Fafner! Get them all! <laughs> Roast them, Fafna! Roast them! <laughs> ah, free at last! Fafna, what are you doing? Spit fire! Spit fire! They're getting away! <laughs> You did it, Papa Smurf! Yes, the dragon can no longer Smurf Smurf! Hooray! Three cheers for Papa Smurf! Ruined! Everything ruined! <laughs> Soon our village will be as good as new, thanks to all your help! Thank you, Papa Smurf. Perhaps someday we shall need your help. We'll be there, Johan. Farewell, Smurfs. We must be on our way. Oh, no. More mountains, deserts, swamps. No, sire. This time we shall fly. Fly? Oh, what a beautiful sight. Home sweet home at last. Tonight you shall sleep in your own soft bed, sire. Yes, soft bed. And Mono will sleep in the dungeon. <laughs> Fafner, cool him off. <laughs> good boy, good boy. <laughs> Pee-wee, tomorrow you must return the magic stick to Omnibus. Sure, Johan, sure. In the morning. Ewe! Yes, sire? Are you playing with that magic stick again? Uh, what makes you ask that, sire? Oh, just a lucky guess. Oh, Papa Smurf! Was this forest always so dry? What happened? I don't know, Smurfette. It's been a long, long time since I've been here, but I don't recall it's being so dry. And we still haven't found the wild forest pond snort. Pond snort? Any Smurf knows you can't find pond snort if there are no ponds, because pond snort only grows at the bottom of... Ponds. I fear we've Smurfed all this way for nothing. Oh, what this place needs is a good rain. I think you got your wish, Smurfette. Let's smurf for cover. Oh, dear, I'm getting all wet. Over here. 
It's dry. Good work, Rainy. Oh, you can leave it to me, Papa Smurf. I always know how to keep my head dry. Papa Smurf, the water's rising. Oh, my Smurfness. If we don't Smurf fast, we'll really be waterlogged. Hurry, we must Smurf to higher ground. This is an awfully long shortcut, Kiwi. I hope you know where we're going. Of course I do. Now which way, left or right? Um, well, I, uh... What do you think, the cat? <laughs> the cat thinks we're lost, and so do I. Look, Johan, a castle. What luck. What? I told you we weren't lost. That's strange. No guards, no sentries, no people. No bread, no ham, no sausage, no dinner. Come on, Pee-wee. Somebody must live in this castle. There's no doubt about it, Johan. This place is deserted, absolutely, positively, de-de-deserted. <laughs> Johan, what was that noise? Uh, it's only an owl. Right, only an owl. Johan, what was that? Only the wind closing a door. Now go to sleep, Pee-wee. Right, go to sleep. Johan, what is that? I don't know. I was afraid you'd say that. But we'll find out. I was afraid you'd say that, too. Look at those shadows. Be brave, Pee-wee. Smurfs! What a pleasant surprise! Doha! Pee Wee! Hello! Hello! Hey, you were caught in the rain too! Yes, we smurfed here for shelter, thinking this place was deserted. It is, Papa Smurf. Except for you, Johan, and me, and that man ringing the bell. The man ringing the bell? Johan! Maybe there is someone in this castle after all. Let's stay calm. Let's not panic. Warm yourselves at our fire, Smurfs. Pee-wee and I will search the bell tower. Why is it always Pee-wee and I? Can't you do anything without me? Now we'll find out who our mysterious bell ringer is. All right, come down from there. It's ringing by itself. Hmm. It rang 12 times, the witching hour. What do you think, Pee-wee? I think we should sleep outside. Ah, there you are. Ah, a ghost! I'm so sorry. Did I frighten you? Mama! Please, don't leave. I wish you no harm. <laughs> Johan, we can't escape a ghost. Listen to me, please. I'm a nice fellow. Johan, Pee-wee? Run, Smurfs. There's a ghost chasing us. Did he say ghost? Yay! What are you? Ah! A, a ghost! ghost. And he's scared of us? Hey, wait for me! Brady, what are you doing? Scaring a ghost. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Brady, stop that immediately. Oh, Brady, are you all right? Smurf, smurf, smurf. Oh, dear. Now look what I've done. Oh, you don't look mean. I assure you I'm not. You just startled me. They startled you? What do you think you did to us, huh? Just who are you? Uh, um, I am the ghost of Aldebar de Beaufort. I used to rule this magnificent castle. Magnificent? This place? <laughs> you gotta be joking. Alas, it's true. If you wish, I shall tell you the story. We love stories, especially ghost stories. So, you see, it was my misfortune to have made an enemy in Sarah the Sorceress. Yes, I've heard of her. She was a mean witch. Very mean. She cast a spell that dried up the seven fountains, which brought water to this kingdom. No water? So that's why the countryside is so dry. Yes. And as the drought continued, all my subjects left this land. My ancestors, blaming me for the curse, decided that I must haunt this castle until the day the seven fountains flow again. Is there anything we can do? Alas, no. As long as the countryside is without water, I am doomed to haunt these halls. Doomed, doomed, doomed. This is where Johan usually offers to help. Papa Smurf, 
Is there no way to help poor Aldebar's ghost? Only Sarah the Sorceress can restore the water, and she's been dead for a hundred years. But maybe she passed her magic onto someone else. It is possible. I've heard of a sorcerer who lives nearby. Maybe he knows. This must be the sorcerer's hut. What if he's the evil kind who loves changing people and the toads? Come along, Pee-wee. Don't believe everything you smurf, Pee-wee. Not all sorcerers are bad. Right. He's probably harmless. You'll see. What do you want? Smurf for your lives! Run, Johan, run! I swear I'll turn us into toads! Johan! Johan! Where is he? I'll bet that awful sorcerer changed him into a... Oh, no! I knew this would happen! Oh, poor Johan! Ribbit! 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 Johan! Poor Johan! Speak to me! Ribbit! 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 We'll find some way to help you! Kiwi, what are you doing? Johan, you're you! Is this strange creature a friend of yours? He looks quite mad. Ribbit! Ribbit! According to the sorcerer, all of Sarah's magic was passed to Rachel, the sorceress. But he doesn't know how to find her. Well, that's that. Time to go home. I know of this Rachel and where she lives. And she owes me a favor. Rachel! Rachel! It's Papa Smurf! Anybody home? Hello! Hi, Smurf. We should wait inside because Papa Smurf always says all good Smurfs come to those who wait and... <clears throat> we'll wait inside. But remember, this is the home of a sorceress. Do not touch a thing. Ah, water. This should cool my boiling brow. <sighs> <laughs> What's wrong with Pee-wee? I don't know. He just splashed some of that water on his face. <laughs> oh, no, laughing water. Papa Smurf, who is this fool? Fool? <laughs> She's right. I'm the king's fool. <laughs> Rachel, this is my friend, Pee-wee. He smurfed some of your laughing water by accident. He did, did he? I could boil you in oil for that. You want to bring the waters back to the seven fountains? Yes, we do. Then you will need this magic divining rod that once belonged to Sarah the Sorceress. Oh, thank you. Just bring it back. I will see to it personally, Rachel. Hmm. How do we know this thing works? I'm sure Rachel wouldn't smurf us wrong, Pee-Pee. It's working. It's working. Like I was saying, it works like a charm. Amazing, amazing! We must be over water! Hooray! Hooray! Six more fountains to go. Hey, let me try. Yippee! This is fun! No, except when the fountain is under a tree. It's true, it's really true. The seven fountains are back. Oh, thank you, thank you. I only wish your little blue friends were here so that I could thank them as well. They had to return the divining rod to Rachel the Sorceress. And now you can return to your ancestors. Alas, not yet. I will only be free when the one and only true heir to this castle returns. And according to my ancestors, he must claim this castle within the next two days or all is lost. You must have many descendants. How can we help you find the one true heir? Follow me and I'll show you. Oh! I keep forgetting. You use doors. This is an imprint of the Beaufort seal, which has been passed on from father to son for generations. My one true heir will possess this seal. Fine. Pee-wee and I will begin our search tomorrow. Remember. You have only two days. The sooner you locate my heir, the sooner I will be free. Wake up, peasants. What are you doing in my castle? Your 
castle, it belongs to the gold. Uh, we thought it was deserted, sire. No longer. I, Guido Beaufort, have taken possession. Ah, you speak nonsense. I, Louis de Beaufort, am the true inheritor of this estate. Wrong. I, Basil de Beaufort, now claim this property. It is mine, you swine. I teach you to call me swine in my castle. My castle. It is my castle. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I have no fighting here. Who are you? I am Charles de Beaufort. Welcome to my humble home. Your humble, humble home? How many de Beauforts are there? Hard to tell. They keep moving around. Yeah! But it's getting too crowded for me. Oh. Oh, excuse me. If you're another Beaufort, you're late. The others started fighting without you. Oh, no. I am not a Beaufort. I represent Jean de Beaufort. He is the true heir to this estate. Who isn't? But my master has the family seal. Family seal? If that is so, then your master is the one true heir. The boy is right. The seal will prove to the king that Jean de Beaufort is the true heir. We might as well take our soldiers and leave, unless... Unless what? Unless we band together and get the seal from the Jean de Beaufort. There shall be no such trickery here. And who will stop us, boy? I, Johan, and my companion, Pee-wee. Fooled with the Beauforts, eh? It is the dungeon for you two. <laughs> <laughs> Smurf, things sure have changed since we left. What are all those humans smurfing here? And where's Johan and Pee Wee? I don't know, but we must find out. Carefully now. We must get out of here. Hey, Johan, these chains are so old, maybe we can break them. <clears throat> then again, maybe not. Now, write down that it is urgent and sign your name. No, never! How do you spell urgent? Just say it is very important. And underline very. Well done. Now all we have to do is send this note to Jean de Beaufort. I will deliver it myself, then bring him back here. But be sure he has the Beaufort seal. Yes, we need that to prove that I am... Uh, we are the rightful Beaufort heirs. <laughs> A ghost! Johan, that awful scream! Aldebert must have returned. Come now, don't be afraid. I am your great-great-grandfather, Aldebert. Maybe he can help us. Aldebert! Aldebert! Help, Aldebert! We're in the dungeon! It's Johan and Pee-wee! This way, down here! Those stairs are very steep and dark and... Someone's coming! Aldebert! Oh, it's useless, Pee-wee. He can't hear us. But I can. Now be quiet before I chain up your big mouths. Oh, well, at least someone heard us. Papa Smurf! Oh, it's terrible. Some evil humans have smurfed the trap for the one true heir to the castle. And if they can get their hands on the royal seal, then you've got to smurf out of here. Aldebar! Can you help us get out of these chains? Alas, no. My hands would pass through anything solid. I can't even open a door. If you could only help us find the keys, we could do the rest. Oh, I frightened the one with the keys just a moment ago. <laughs> Accidentally, of course. That gives me an idea. You were dreaming, Basil. I already told you that ghosts do not exist. Oh, but I do! <laughs> I've been waiting ages for you Beauforts! <laughs> do you really think the ghost is gone? I certainly hope so. Hello! Oh, I haven't had so much fun in years! Now, let him try to get in. Whoa. Little ghosts! <laughs> yeah, go away! Give us your keys and we'll go away. Here, take them. Just go. Good work, Smurf. Don't thank us. Thank him. It was nothing. Now, just keep scaring the Beauforts until we can get out of the castle. Good on. I must go. 
What a time to leave! Tomorrow at midnight is my last chance to find a true heir. If I fail, then I will haunt these halls forever. Forever! forever. Oh, Papa Smurf! We only have one more day to help that poor goat. We'd better get smurfing. My men are ready to ride. Then you must leave at once. If those ghosts don't get you fast. Whoa! Yay! Basil is right. There are more. Hmm. What have we here? Ooh! I'm going to get you. Pee wee. Whoa! <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Coochie, coochie, coo. Why, you? Can't you take a joke? Stop them! They are no ghosts! It was a trick! Your good ideas never last long, Pee-wee! After them! There they are! We've got them trapped! Johan, do something! I'm thinking! I've got it! We'll jump! Think of something else! No time to argue! Hang on, Smurfs! Blast! They're getting away! Run, Pee-wee! They must not escape! As I was saying, run! They must be around here somewhere. Split up and find them. We need a horse, and you can help us get one, Pee-wee. Right! Me? Pee-wee! Pee-wee! The dog ah! Good work, Pee-wee. Oh, Pee-wee, you were wonderful. I was, wasn't I? Blast! No sign of Johan and Pee-wee. And where is Bofor? I'm here. I'm here. Not you, him. What happened to you? And where is your horse? Well, uh, I have good news and bad news. The good news is I found the prisoners. Well, where are they? That's the bad news. You mean they got away? Enough! I must get to Jean de Beaufort before Johan and Pee-wee, or all is lost. Yes, you're right. Go quickly. And take the shortcut. Oh, the four horse is so tired, Papa Smurf. Yes, Smurfette. And it's still a long way to Jean de Beaufort's village. And I'm starving. Come, Pee-wee. We'll continue on foot. But we must reach Jean de Beaufort before his evil cousins do. I'm so hungry. I'm smelling things like sausage. Pee-wee, come back here. I still don't see why my servant wanted me to come alone and bring the Beaufort seal. Hmm. Dear Cousin Jean, there are traitors afoot. You'll be safer with us. Ooh. You! You villain! A traitor! Grab him! Johan! Don't let him escape! But who are these men? Johan and Pee-wee, the traitors I mentioned. They are after your Beaufort seal. No, we're not. He's the traitor. Pee-wee speaks the truth, Jean. Ooh. I hate traitors! Stand back! This should convince you we're friends, sire. It is the Beaufort seal. But how did you? We'll explain. But I hope you like ghost stories. Do you think this will work, Johan? It has to, Jean, or your ghostly great-great-grandfather will never rest. Where is Beaufort? I'm, I'm here. here! Not you, Louis! It's almost midnight. He should have been back by now. There he is. Are you sure it's Louis? No one else looks like that. Lower the drawbridge. Your plan is working, Johan. His plans always work. It's time to confuse the enemy. Let's go. Come on, Pee-wee. We're inside. Quick, to the bell tower. To the bell tower. Thanks, Johan. Johan. Seize him. Johan. So much for the element of surprise. Then get to them! Break it down! Now what? Look for the back door. It's barred from the outside. Stand back! I'll show you how to open a door. Pew! I don't know how, but you did it! I did? The midnight hour. We must hurry. Are you sure the ghost will appear? Sure we're sure. Look. Thank heavens, you've come back in time. And could this young man possibly be? Yes, this is Jean de Beaufort. 
your direct descendant and one true heir. At last, it's almost too good to be true. My boy! Not another door! Break it down! We need your help one last time, Altibear. It will be my pleasure, Johan. Ah! Look, he's more solid. He can't hurt you. Now it is four against three. That's what you think. Once we get rid of you, Jean de Beaufort, this castle will be mine. Yours? I thought we were partners. We'll discuss it later. After them! Good one, Johan! Ouch! Watch out, Johan! That's it! Don't give it to him! I'll take care of you! Mama! It's nothing! Pull harder! Yo! Saved by the bell! We will see about that! Ah! <laughs> I guess he wanted to join his partner! <laughs> I've got the buff for seal. It's half mine. <laughs> Excuse me, Smurfs. I'm returning this to the rightful owner. That motor's getting a little crowded. Hey, shove over. I was here first. We are both now. Can anybody swim? <laughs> John, you are now Lord of Beaufort Castle. And at long last, I am free. Oh, thank you, my friend. And goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Sir Ghost. You look so happy. What are you going to do about your villainous cousin, Jean? I believe Peewee has already taken care of that. I want this castle clean. You know just what I mean. Push that mop with feeling. He clean up the scene. All right, all right. Just stop that awful singing. Even the dungeon would be better than this.